I don't rewrite them. Yeah. That's the first one that you put in for them. Oh, yeah. That one? Yeah, that was to get things moving. I guess. That was to get the story rolling. Okay. Now, now it's like whatever you guys want to do. It's whatever our priorities are, or what we feel the priorities would be for the characters. So would I know any other orc legends? A five out of six. Yeah, roll. Do you have orc wise? No. Guys. You could roll, yeah, roll those one. earlier, and I got all fives. Do you want these? Nah. I Me, mean, you really want them? <laughs> they roll pretty even, because that was too bad. You can't even turn my tribe. I'm pretty sure I exclaimed, I'm going to find this talisman. I'll be right back. He'll be right back in like a minute. Hey, guys, I'm going to find this talisman. Is there okay. Or is it? I killed him, guys. Now let's get out of here fast. I mean, real fast. Bro, we all, we all do have beliefs about the work, I think. In, in, at least generally, not So, uh, Brad does not. Brad does not have any beliefs about the orc. Uh, but he, but indirectly, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Directly, as far as I believe. I do believe I wrote one. What were your beliefs? The so, new one I wrote as I gave up. I will always keep an open mind to other races. As I accomplished that, I did. I will prove I am loyal to my friends when it counts. The dwarf must survive. <laughs> All right, no work. That's a hard one to keep up. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be tough for you this session, Brad. Wait till you see what I my new beliefs. You're going to be like this guy has a death wish. Yep. Um, so go ahead and tell him how you rewrote your beliefs. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, in a second. Well, the thing is, I do want to encourage James to just kind of take. I think we all have beliefs about the work, so. Yeah, yeah, it's all kind of hinges on you, James. Yeah, you can really lead the session in a in a brave direction, whatever you want to do. You. So I'll let you think about that. Just remember, you get that sweet, sweet Arthur for uh, leading the story. I mean, extra persona. Fate, fate. persona. Oh, okay. No deeds. Perfect. How about... Masses. Um, I'll rewrite that one, and actually I'll be rewriting this educated one too. So I have to write rewrite two if I rewrite the orc challenge movie, right? Well, have you been educated yet? No, he, he he put a mark. There, so, uh, so I don't know if that counts. Um, yeah, we'll say that since he's learning how to read and write, that counts. So you can go ahead and rewrite that one. Okay. Then I won't rewrite my first one, and I'll still be looking for the orc talisman. But uh, the, no, you did it for the cannibalism. You can rewrite um, your first one. And be like, oh, the talisman was in my grasp. You know, I must track down this orc who has disgraced me. Yeah, or some shit like that. But I wanna, I wanna. Like, right now, I'll be wanting to, like, prove myself to my party since I kind of failed them on pretty much my own quest. So, could it be something about killing this golem at hand right now? Mm, I mean, you could, but that's going to be something that's going to happen probably pretty quickly. Yeah. And that'll be, like, a really short-sighted belief. And once you do it, it's kind of like, well, there's nothing really else that drives my character right now. No, I'll change it to what you said. Oh, man. yeah. I'll change the first one to what you said, and that's it. Tacos in a mouth hole. I guess I have a chat down in the work towels, man. Write down scarred under your character face. Yeah, change the not Because you got fucking window. whipped in the face, and it opened a big scar across your face. Oh, yeah, aren't we, aren't we supposed to, like, say if anybody got any extra traits like that? Um... Because I don't remember much. Yeah. Nobody got any extra traits other than James. Hmm? I said you're the only one who got any extra traits because some crazy shit like that happened. Um, Shane, you wrote your hammer down, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, is it a dwarven hammer? It is a dwarven hammer. Okay, nice. The stats right. on this dwarven hammer, the detail... You can name the hammer whatever you want to name it. Uh, for everybody else in the party, the hammer, as you were holding it, gives you a B... What do you think? Four or five, Shane? Yeah. Uh, you want to roll a die on it? A success is a five and a failure is a uh, four? Four. All right. Up to you. 
There's a core. It gives you B4 hammer skill automatically. But you cannot advance your hammer skill as you are using it. Alright. You do not mark any tests. You cannot learn how to use a hammer if you are unskilled in a hammer when you are using it. That's so, right. Where's my own? I think I'll take that deal. Um, Where's my? No, that's my. I got my wolf's like ability. That's right. Another special um, quality. Only Shane can see the hammer. So when he's holding it, it'll, it's invisible. It looks like <laughs> he's just pantomiming. I found it, guys. So you just pretty much look crazy the whole time. <laughs> Where is Brad? She you say it was invisible. I missed that. Oh, if the it's invisible to everyone else but you. No, she is. What? That's awesome. Nah, yes. like, no, that'd, that'd be funny because you just look kind of crazy to us until you hit <laughs> something. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. Um, hey, quickly, uh, dwarven equipment. Or dwarven uh, arm quality arms get plus one D for being well balanced. All right. Any what? They get plus plus one D for being well balanced. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I changed my I'm in need of friends to this journey will be tough and I must um, pull my skills. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out how to word that. Like I'm gonna need to level up, and I'm making that one of my beliefs. You get what I'm saying? Um, is that cool? Hmm, that's I don't know about that. I'm one. going for preparedness, is what I'm saying basically. I can change them for sure. I just need to know what this. I must repay my debt to him. I want to keep that kind of going. And yeah. Say simply like encounter this. This new world brings in a, a different threat to the table. I have to uh, protect my companion at all costs, basically. That'll work. I'll let, you, I'll let you keep that one, and as far as your belief being something like to level, you're going to have to be more specific. You're going to have to be a little more um, specific on that. I got you. you say, like, uh, I'm going to show my companions skills. I have either from more than just simple skills, that you can like, say he's going to use his combat skills or something. That's what I'm saying. Like I need to hone my combat skills. So that would involve, I guess, for me, that would involve leveling up all of knives, throwing. You could say something like, "I will prove to my companions that I am serious in this quest, and that I will better." I don't know. I, don't know, that will better I will something. show I have more than skills. I have valor also. What do you think, Shane? Just word to the wise, if you put that you want to improve your skills on your sheet, the GM has to challenge that and make it hard for you to do. Right, I understand that. Yeah, so that'll be like... In a way, like if you're following your beliefs, you can try to improve your skills that way, like as a player on your sheet, if that's your priority. But um, if you if you write the belief, Hayes, Hayes is going to make it... He's never going to give you a moment. Failures. Many, many failures. That's yeah. okay. That's what me love like, he'll never give you a moment to improve your skills. He'll just keep like trying to keep you from doing it. Because it's your belief. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I got you, but even failures help me level. So. <laughs> yeah, but you've also got to look at it this way. Uh, Stuff like an injury. Which is fine. Difficulty and challenging tests can't be supplemented for a routine. So if all you need is a routine... To level, I don't even know how and we're works. just doing a bunch of difficult and challenging tests. You'll never level until you catch that routine. I don't know how it works. Like, so, I, don't know. I think it's valid to like improve improve your skills by you know, yeah, by doing blank. I think that's a valid belief. You know, I, oh, like, um, strengthen myself. You know, by doing this. You know, but I'll you work. have to decide whether it's in the scope of, of <clears throat> practice or if it's in the scope of actually doing things in the in the real game world, you know. What, I mean? what it takes to level up from skill level one to two. That's what I'm looking for. Where is that at in the in the book? It's only, it's only like one routine and one challenging. Or one one it's one routine and one difficult or challenging test to improve from one right. to two. My champion wise last game got one routine and one challenging. Alright, so go ahead and mark a level. two and it's level one. So go ahead and mark a two and remove uh, your routine and challenging tests on that. 
All right, and for riding, I have skill rank two, and I got one challenging, so I need probably another routine or something like that. Where is it at in the book, Shane? Uh, it's in. Okay, I'll give you the page. <coughs> Damn, only you. For, uh, page forty-one. You're gonna go to forty-two, and you'll see the skills in that. Okay. If you have a two that you were trying to level it's up, hard. it is. Two routine tests and one difficult or one challenging. Uh, Brent, I just got an idea. Improvement could also mean better gear. Two three. Okay. That's true. So that cash, that that's cash really could be part of that. Yeah, because my guy's not wearing any gear. Yeah, that cash could be part of that. Uh, I could go off the cash thing. Yeah, you could even say that there's cash or armor and cash, and then I, I, I would roll. I would roll a die of fate to see, see what, what you get. It. Or you could just search this room of treasure if you really wanted to. Yeah, you could do that. As well. We're in a football yeah, we're we're in noise fucking. Yeah, we're Why are we filling our pockets? Course. Because you're face-to-face -face with a giant golem right now. Oh, that's right. I'm filling my <coughs> pockets still. I look crazy. I will help you orc a huge time body as the hammer. I'll put as much gold as I can into the swing. Human bat. Yeah, human bat. I'll only get heavier. Yeah. Uh, my strength isn't where James, my... don't worry about the ifs. We haven't questioned why you only have a bow and no sword. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so, cut back claw. This mysterious orb poses a new threat. I must protect and aid Twinkles at all costs. Is that first belief? Uh, time to suit up. That's yes. what you can put it in. Yeah, up. my other belief is going to be like, I need armor. Do you have a dwarf? You don't know how to use it. I thought it was funny as soon as he picked it up. Actually, like, I spit James, out. everybody who picks up the hammer knows how to use it. So. Oh, don't oh, don't don't. Oh, <laughs> I need armor for this upcoming quest. Any Exclamation point. Anini. 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 Are you running again, dreams? Yep. <laughs> well, shit, I'm going to smoke again. Well, be quick about it, because Shane is on limited time, and we will play as long as Shane can. You want, like, a cup of water? Can you drink water? Black people want to drink water? I guess not. Besides your phobic. I learn new things every day. Besides your phobic. He's up for the band for H2O. Yep. Everything you got. No, I have to get something to drink. That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, get it, Shane. Yeah, get that sweet music down stuff. <laughs> we did, we did, uh, Stephanie threw me a surprise uh, birthday party last Saturday. We did karaoke. Yeah. I sang three Coheed and Cambria songs in a row. Yeah. And, uh... They were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can hit those notes. No one. Uh, but we had a good time. Anyway. Okay. <coughs> so uh, I want to make sure I get everybody's beliefs noted on my notepad because it helps me. Oh, they're pretty much the same. My so, is the same. So, uh, oh, can we do a quick session review, like in our last session, like a uh, wrap-up about what happened last time? Okay. Uh, whoever, are we going to do the reward, like in Torchbearer? Whoever does the wrap-up gets a fate point? That would be kind of cool. All right, whoever can accurately do the wrap-up of everything that happened will get one fate point to add. I'm kind of I'm kind of stocked on fate. Who needs fate? Anybody need fate? No, I got three. You got uh, three. Brent, you need That's it. House rule. I need the most. All right, can you do a recap? You do a recap. And you completely and accurately capture what happened on our last adventure. You will get. So this. Elf and this orc were walking through the woods, and this wolf almost killed the orc because he hates him, right? 
And then somehow, magically, out of all that, we became friends with this clumsy ass dwarf who falls off carts, and this human bodyguard of the elite, I guess. I don't know exactly what he is. Um, from there, we started adventuring towards something that the dwarf needed to build a workshop. It was very pertinent to him that we did this. Um, from there, we set traps on our flat wheel cart because it blew a tire out. Um, some goblins attacked it from what I gathered from the noises and the traps that were set off. From there, we hastily rushed into a cave that was along this path, and somebody got whipped in the face, Winkles, by a badass orc who I never really saw as my character because I was standing there for Yeah. Um, from that point, some giant golem, I, I, if I remember correctly, he came up out of the treasure just magically. Nope, out of the blood. Oh, out of the blood. Yeah. That's right, my bad. <coughs> out of the blood. And then now I am still bewildered. I think Brad's the only one actually seeing this golem right now. Oh, everybody's up. Remember? Everybody's ready. Every, to go? Everybody okay. snapped out of it whenever he did his last, the last little cracking, cracking the whip and disappear, and it woke everybody. So right out now of it. we are all face to face with this giant treasure golem. This giant rock monster, man. Rock, I was gonna rock, say rock monster. monster. Second one. Rock yep. Monster. That's recap. good enough. So go ahead and add a fate point there. Right. It's always two successes in a row. Yeah, no, it's always uh, they roll even. They roll even. Okay. Game science guy, man. Even. Game what? Game science. They you're like, high, you're like guaranteed to get so one success, yeah. but you're always and, and with a chance of getting two. It's never three. It's never, <laughs> never I, I three. One of four three. successes on four dice. Oh, no successes. <laughs> two successes. But a six. Yeah. Eight points spent. Oh, good. Look at that. Beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so are we all done? Are we all done with our beliefs and everything? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do I really need to change uh, Zavai's every time nah, since don't worry he doesn't about worry about yeah, Persona? Don't worry, don't worry about He's, those are like his core, core beliefs. beliefs yeah. yeah, those are like his monster. It's just the monster burn beliefs. No, if I change anything, it'll probably just be instincts every now and then. Yeah. You gotta get table approval for that unanimously, and I'm never gonna give it to you. No, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna give him traits too. And I'm just going to give him traits, too. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, all that noise. You know what? My looking fly. Trait. Yep. Trait. All right. Fly. So. Superior. Are we ready? Perfect. Are we ready to start? Oh, yeah. Can I beliefs? Can we do beliefs? Oh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Everybody read <laughs> off their beliefs. Um, what their new and improved James beliefs didn't change are. anything. Yeah, I didn't change anything. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll start for you. Um. You have our beliefs written down. You want me to tell you what I'm replacing? Uh, or not? No, I just read them all. Off. Okay. Um, my number one is this mysterious orc poses a new threat, and I must protect and aid Twinkles at all costs. <coughs> I must steal away to my calf secretly and gather its valuables for the coming journey. I'm in need of armor for this upcoming quest. Badly. All right. Uh, I've heard of it. Oh, well, it's the same thing, but I read it. I've heard of a great and powerful work, Charles. Oh, yeah, I've rewritten it. Yeah. He said, uh, what did you say? Yeah, write it down while you say it. Yeah, write it down. It was <laughs> like, uh, the orc talisman, uh, talisman was in my grasp, uh, and I let it slip away. Bad, I will not know. let that happen again. I must track this orc down at all costs. Okay. YOLO. S L. Swag it up. Swag it, 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 yeah, that was a secret cat. Do you have only two beliefs or three? Well, we'll count those as the same ones right now. I'll just leave it at that. Oh. Because I don't, I don't have another belief. Remember, my third belief is the one I need to change. I need a friend. Was it originally? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, so nobody's really pledged their allegiance yet. Yep, yeah, I'll just keep that. Because it all hinges on. I tried my best. What to happens here in the chamber right now? Yeah. Well, 
My second one is I wish to educate myself in the ways of etiquette, so I will engage in our every part of our game. <laughs> Man, that's so weird. weird. Yeah, I got you. I, we, we know. We know that one. Okay. Yes. Get, uh, get skills. Uh, that was like learning and trying not to eat people. Yeah. And I have a knack for running flesh. Um, uh, I will impress my comrades by landing the first bloody blow. <coughs> what if they don't have blood? Chunks and blow. Just rocks. There'll be rocks. So everywhere. shame my second one changed so we didn't catch up. Blow. Okay, it's the cash. Actually, no, my third one. I'm sorry. Yeah, the third one's changed from the armor oh, because okay. that goes along with the cash. I'm gonna keep it as I need. I'm in need of friends, and I'll okay. put birth to my my companions by illustrating my skills. <coughs> nice. Okay, so that's going to be the third. Great. Yeah. All right, Brad. All right, so I just reread my first one, and I don't know if it's too similar to the one I just wrote, so you guys can let me know. Right. I will not leave my companions behind not no yet. matter what danger they are in. The second yeah, one I is... I will prove I am loyal to my friends and the, when it counts the most, and the dwarf must survive. All right. What you do you think, Jamie? Does it do similar? No, that's good. All right. Yeah, that's good 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 they, they work. Getting back to that quest of the workshop round. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I know. I already got that. I mean, if Brad, if Brad wants to, if you want to squeeze a third belief in, you could drop the not leave. Like, you could just include the dwarf in the not leave a man behind and then get, get a free third belief. But that's uh, a, I have a third, those are first two that he read were two different beliefs. Okay. So he still got his third one. Yeah, my third one is I will uh, I will go to the ends of the earth to keep survive. Yeah, his the, the, if I had to change one of the two, I was going to change it to a show that uh, shows by that not all orcs are bad. So I was going to try to like tame your wolf a little bit. That seems like I like that one. I like that one. Yeah. yeah. Take it rid of the. Add the dwarf one to the companions. The dwarf one. I will not leave my companions behind no matter what and you danger can, you they're can, in and say the dwarf say, must survive. Say, yeah, dwarf takes priority or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, because then you can work towards actually changing one of Zwei's uh, instincts or beliefs. Yep. I like that one. Um, you don't have to worry about the dumb so what are you doing, Brad? You're doing take I'm care doing, of the dwarf, yeah, basically. I'm doing don't leave my companions behind, no matter what danger they're in, and the yeah. dwarf must survive. And then uh, the orc. I will try to convince Zvi that not all orcs are bad. And then I have I'll go to the ends of the earth to protect him. You worry about that dog. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's your character, though. I mean, yeah. it seems Pretty legitimate. Much. Alright, I've got, uh, uh, we have done a great disservice to all the world by releasing this mad and ancient orc. I'll take responsibility for this crime and won't sleep until the foe is at last thwarted. Uh, believe it. My greed has proven me a fool. I'll find redemption in aiding those who have so far helped me by wielding the hammer of my grandfather in their name. And then I have my two oaths, which are I will outfit Zig in the finest arms and armor, and I swore to my father I'd build my own workshop. Oh, are we supposed to... Where are the oaths at? Because I have Shame. an oath with you, don't I? You can't sleep <laughs> or rest. Yeah, not until it's done. Well, you're Let's hyperactive say, as uh, when running around while I sleep. <laughs> I'm going to need some potions. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit, how am I going to keep up with him? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no not rest. If I collapse from exhaustion, well, my path question. It's not even your path question. You just have the most ties to that work. It's all of our path questing. <clears throat> yeah, for fate. This end up committing suicide. All right. Right. Name's just I have disgraced my memory. <laughs> yes, what happens with the orcs whenever they raise their hatred? You have to like commit suicide and, or just or just disappear. Off. Because I say the same way with my guy, with my um, my grief. Go ahead out. and add a grief. Uh, Ooh, snap! Because I watched <clears throat> get all fucked up. 
Yep, and James, add an exponent to your hatred. Where's your, uh, where's, where's your where oath set? So you have to keep those, like... Oaths will be, like, normally your fourth, your special, or you can just add one. Yeah, that's all, oaths are for dwarves. Uh, yeah, oaths are different. For dwarves, it's like a blood oath. It's okay. like, he can't, yeah. that's like, like a super serious yeah. thing. Yeah. That's, what just gives them that fourth, that's what gives them that fourth belief. Otherwise, otherwise you don't get it. Do I get a right. test for this grief? Because I would like to test for it. Uh, I mean, there's really no test. Oh, no. <laughs> making sure. Uh, and Rodin, Rodin get the uh, loyalty. That's it. Right, there's yeah. No the Rodin, so each race kind of gets their own their own deal. What's what? Little, like, men, um, men will never have more than three beliefs. Mm. Neither will. Yeah. No. yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. The reason why humans don't have those is because they're not fucking immortal. Mm -hmm. So, orcs, I get it. I get it. Yeah. orcs, elves, and dwarfs are all immortal. They can like, be killed with a blade, but, but they will never die from old age. Uh, okay, so I'm almost 30. You're young. I'm You're, young. Shit. You're like a baby. 150 <laughs> is like the prime orc. A thousand something years old is like the prime elf. And like 23 to 25. I'm is, in my prime. Is, 26 is, is when you start declining. Man. I'm at 25. Yeah. I need to survive. Brent is a vampire. The older he gets, the stronger he gets. What'd you say, Shane? I'm basically a child among my people. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, Shane. Shane's not that old either. Like 31, so. If I did my math correctly, I'm legitimately 14 years old. What? what? <laughs> I had like elf human years, but did my math correctly? I'm roughly oh, like 13, 14 years old. Yeah, in human years. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Human could call them young. So, <laughs> are we all ready to get started? I think we're ready. Yeah, I'm good. All right. So, as we start where we left off, basically, uh, this. <laughs> Golem, this giant rock monster, and I came up out of the floor from from the blood. He was summoned by the great orc. Now can we he is, yeah, you can tell you saw the blood. I'm saying we saw him like summon him. Basically. Yeah, he's basically. I mean, of it I'm just making sure my character knows how powerful and badass right. he is. Well, for, first off, who wants to roll perception? Who wants to roll, roll perception, perception, roll perception to see? What they can see about the uh, I'll roll goal. perception. <laughs> Everybody. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll roll perception on my six. Fork in. Just fork in. Because remember, you, you all you all get perception tests. I have, have a three. three. Why would you want to roll perception? I have three. So I can get it higher? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Normally what you want to do, I would say you probably want to find so it, who has the higher perception and fork in off of that. That's right. Because you get you get skill points if you fork in. And I yeah. Pass you so you, no, I thought you, we were doing individual. Okay. Yeah. 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 But just for the interest of time and me not having... Cause it, I would have to repeat myself over and over and over yeah, again because yeah, more than likely everybody's going to get like the same score and I'll just say the same thing. I'll be like, yep, you just said what he said. Nice, he nice. mumbled this and you confirmed. We can fork in on these. You're that's, like, yep, that's a rock monster. He's big. Don't, don't get it confused with the other ones, but this is my fork. Can we, can we fork down with stat test? No. So it's just You cannot. Fork. It's just your perception. Perce are perceptions open-ended, Shane? I can't remember. I want to say they are. They're not. The book says they are, but it's a misprint confirmed by the writer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Why, why you do this, Shane? That's a hell of a misprint. Yeah, Shane. Yeah. I, I call it technicality. I get open ended. It used to be in the revised edition. Perception rules were open ended, but uh, right. they got rid of it. Right. So, Brent has six dice to roll. Who who all is gonna for it? Who all is gonna for it? I'm gonna for. I'm gonna for. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna help him recognize what's going on. Eight, not four. Eight. 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 It's wrong perception. I'm gonna help. Okay, so that is you have six, seven, eight, nine. So you have nine dice to roll. Yeah, roll a different color for me. I want to know if I helped. Yeah, we got to know. All right, Brad helped. Hell yeah, helped. James helped. Shane helped. That's Yay. three successes. All right, so that's three successes. So Here comes my six. Go ahead and roll your six. I got one, two, three, four. So that's seven. 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 Damn. Okay. 
So. We're all like, look over there! I could have busted a fade on two of y'all. This you could just don't is a graduated test. So everybody mark down a routine. Uh -oh. Uh, well, routines don't matter for stats. Oh, for what? For perception? perception yeah. For stats. Or for any stat, routines yeah. don't matter. Oh, oh damn. damn. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. oh. I rolled nine dice, dude. Don't yeah, you rolled nine better. dice. So. Don't give me anything better. Man. <laughs> so what mark you anything, can right? tell from the rock, as you gaze up at this monstrosity of rock, uh, you can see that he is covered in blood. And the blood from the orc is still dripping from okay. his body. Uh, he has, from what you can see, four gems in his head. And as the golem is standing there, the head is rotating. So the head is actually almost like a security camera. You know, each eye, from what you gather, could possibly be how he senses. So it rotates on an axis to constantly see what's going on. So you would know that sneaking up on this thing would be almost impossible. Right. Uh, you can well, tell... Take out three of its sensor thingies. You don't know. You don't know that, James. Yeah. You don't know. No, I'm just game. saying. I'm three just not a game, and that's what I would think. That's just a guess. Three three arrows. Arrows. Yeah, it's just a guess. <laughs> three arrows. <laughs> Four arrows. Uh, we got to try something. Whatever. You would know that this creature is semi-intelligent because he didn't just start off swinging. He's like <laughs> stanced, waiting. He's like waiting for someone to make a move. He's all like, you don't fuck do it. I, I got a quick question. That's going to alter the way I play. Okay. Um, out of game. What does the dwarf have? Like materials on him? Does he have like a skew materials basically? What do you mean? Like, if we get back to the cart, or back to his sack, could he pull out a cup from that cart? Mm. Or a vial? I would say that <laughs> have your cup on. there's a mountain of treasure, and that there's possible... You could roll to find. I got you. Okay, I get what you're saying. If he goes back to the cart, he's still going to have to roll to see if he can get it. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, so, I forgot there's a mountain yeah, of treasure. So you'll, you'll have to test. You'll have to tell me what you want to do. I should have raised my faith for getting this treasure all around us. <laughs> okay, so... As the rock monster is standing there, I will just say that uh, he's, he's just waiting. And basically, we need to decide what we're going to do here. And what we'll do is just a bloody versus... Uh, what is this, Jane? Can I can like uh, can what do you what do you suggest? I don't know if we should do regular verses or bloody verses. What would you say? Well, we haven't said what we want to do yet. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Because we might so, want to run away. Okay. Well, it's it's up to you guys what you want to do. At this point, it's it's up to you. Well, I'm standing here looking at the orc with his whipped face, and I'm looking severely <laughs> skittish right now. That is exactly how my character. You see me slowly taking out my bow, playing an arrow. Well, if he wants You're to fly, right. he's right in your face, James. He's like, I, uh, I'll say, I'll say, everybody <laughs> is like spaced out, like accordingly. Like we'll, we'll say the rock monster is the microphone, and like everybody is just kind of out. Like James will probably be over here, and Brad will probably be here, and Shane will probably be like right here. Zig will be over here somewhere, and Brent would be like right here because he was running. I said Shane would probably be over here, right? No, no you would probably be over here. Shane's over there. Yeah, yeah. Positioning yeah, in this doesn't really, really matter. matter. It's, it's, it's just, it's just to let you know that he's not on your dick, and you could draw an arrow if you wanted to. Okay, I would run. I would run Maybe like away from him to gain some distance, and then shoot at him. But I would try to make sure. I'm the first well, person. That's too many actions. Yeah. You need yeah. you need to simplify what you want to do right now. Do you want to run first, or do you want to? Well, so you can't shoot and run. No. Who the fuck can shoot and run a bow? Uh, well, I play. Well, I mean, you can shoot and run a bow, but the obstacle will be high. Yeah, it's like I'm fucking eleven. Yeah. 
I'd be like, that's the automatic hob too. That's okay. automatic like, plus two to whatever hob because it. you're running. I'm just gonna yell out like, aim for the eye, aim for the eye, and I'm gonna pick up a stone off of the ground, like at my feet, like maybe. Can I find a stone? Uh, sure. I'll I'll say that there's some debris on the ground. So. Like something something about brick size. Okay. How about this gold? Yeah. I'll shoot <laughs> at him. Can I roll for something upon a vial? I'll shoot at him. Just. If I couldn't run away and shoot, that is, well, if you're just going to like throw it, throw it at him. Okay, so you have a stone and you are ready to go. What were you doing? You were I'm running. Shoot him in his freaking right, so eye. He's drawing a bow. Now, what do you want to do, Red? I am running with Zvi to the door. Okay. And I'm gonna surround the door from one side, Zvi one side me. And I'm gonna have all my weapons drawn. Okay. And I would like to roll perception to try to find something I can contain this blood in. Uh you wouldn't be able to. Wouldn't be able to. Alright. I'll I'll say you would there would be no ch- if you try to collect blood blood from this dude right now, he's probably gonna stomp the fuck out of you. Well, I have a, as, I have um, a handkerchief. <laughs> you could like we could say you yelled to me, like, get the blood and I'll take out my handkerchief and I'll soak it with the uh, the blood. Once we get in, plus. No, he's going to put the rock okay. in the I handkerchief and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> did not know you had a handkerchief. Now no, that you I know did. that, that my action is to yell at him. To like I paid a handkerchief. resource point to buy a handkerchief <laughs> <laughs> for a situation like that. All right. Not to cover my mouth. It's okay. Yeah. okay, so all you have? we've all established right. where exactly. everyone, well, except for Zig. Zig still just kind of standing there, hands in his pocket, just staring. He's kind of like rocking back on his heels, looking up at this dude. Yo, bro. Zick, what the fuck? Yo, bro. <laughs> Can you nah, he's, just looking. he's just looking. Hey, everybody, Zick said he's got this one. <laughs> <laughs> I adore you, guys. I feel like I could take on this whole rock monster all by myself. Run away. <laughs> all right, cool, Zig. Bye. Now, what's he doing, though? Zig is just standing there, hands in his pockets. Like, Zig, what are you doing? Zig, get out of the way. Snap out of it. Snap like, Zig doesn't it. give a shit. Okay, well, as as you yell at Zig, Zig <coughs> just kind of slowly turns his head at you like he is just not concerned. And he starts to pull his bow out, and he notches an arrow. All right. As he notches the arrow, he aims up and shoots at the rock monster. A rock hits Zig in the face just Boom. Hits the rock. Right in the chest. Arrow just bounces right off. The rock monster turns around and smashes Zig with his stone arm into the ground. Zig, no! Slams Zig into the ground. You can't even see it. The rock monster slammed his arm down on top of Zig, and the arm snapped off and, like, reformed out of stone again. So there's basically this rubble where the arm was, where Zig was standing. God, Zig. Grief for that? Huh? You Do I get grief for that? No, you not right now. Attached to him? Not right now. Not really. You're not really attached to him. That's just you, you don't really care for Zig right now. You gotcha. just met him, and you were suspicious of him. But that was pretty intense, what I just saw. Yeah, but you're probably like, whew, thank God he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I really didn't trust him. <laughs> He probably actually lost some grief. So, <laughs> they're so happy. Zig, no, I was supposed to give you fine arms and armor. <laughs> you ruined my oath. Well, I guess I'm free of that one. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Uh, all right, so what do you guys want to do? How do you guys want to take this on, man? Right, I'm going to just, like, fling my rock at the rock. Dude, did you think well, the question is, are we, are we, so are we just doing a versus? Or... How do you want to do this? Uh, well, it seems like we're all wanting to use range. So if you want to test each range separately and then tell us the results, that's up to you. Or, like, if you have a consequence of failure in mind, you know what I mean? Okay. That's, this is our first time kind of doing combat, I guess. Okay. So what would really you really how you want to conduct it, man. I mean, you could be... Whatever the GM says goes, man. Yeah, we told you what you, what we want to do, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, shit. If you guys want to do range, that's fine. 
Uh, I am. Who's going to take the first shot? Is my question. I was, uh, I was, I was wanting to. to. I was wanting to um, ask. You said it was a rock monster, and then you said there were sentry things floating around. Him? No, it's on his. He's got like a yeah. stone head that okay. rotates, that and rotates. it's got like one eye here, 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 and here, and exactly. it rotates so like you can't sneak up on him. Okay. Unless we can somehow magically hit those eyeballs. Um. You mean? Physically hit the eyeballs? Because it's not magic what we need. Magic. Yeah. Hit them. There's this I'm like, aim for the head. Hit them. No. <laughs> throw my rock. You're too nerdy for that. Okay, so you, you, you aim for the know, head man. and throw your rock. Oh, yeah. Do you have throwing? I'll I not know. let him go first. Go ahead and... It's a speed test. Oh, James is challenging his, his... Him throwing the rock, he's wanting to yep. do a speed test to see yep. who shoots first. Not let him go first. Okay, all right. <laughs> so James okay. wants to be the first one to go. So roll your speed, Shane, versus James's speed. All right, I, I want to be first. Speed. Speed. Right. Uh, nope, it's just speed on speed. Bring it on, Shane. <laughs> Bring it on. Two successes. No. Go down. No. Dang it. <laughs> all fail. You got it. <laughs> all right, I get mine off first. I like that. Okay, so... Yeah, he gets his. He's done. Go ahead and test uh, unskilled throw. Hmm. All right. Throw? That's going to be my agility, which is a five. <coughs> now, hey, is, uh, am I above or below? You are on flat, flat ground. ground. Your elbow. Flat. There is no, there's no the elevation. And it's like everybody is standing on flat ground, and this rock monster is towering above everybody. All right, what's my obstacle? Your obstacle is only going to be a, I'll say a two, because he is such a large monster, it would be like hitting the broad side of the barn. All right, I hit two. All right, you hit a two. Uh, but you got to get a four because it's unskilled. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend a fate point because I have rolled a six. Okay. All right. I rolled another six. I'm no, not no, six. All I'll right. Show, I'll show it with the camera if you want to see it. No, no, go ahead. One more game. Uh, only three successes. Okay. As Shane throws the rock, he kind of fumbles it as the dwarf throws the rock, and it goes off sideways and hits the orc dead in the side of his face. I can't dodge that. <laughs> I can't dodge that. No. Just <laughs> you can't dodge it. So, now... <laughs> God damn it. You have to roll your bow skill. And minus you one. are going to go ahead and try and hit the orc. That's you mean the dwarf? Do you mean the dwarf? <laughs> this is like a link test is what's happening here. Basically, basically. So... Nice. Oh, now no, you have to try to your hit. Your wolf and your wolf will eat me, and then he'll try to kill your wolf, and then you'll have to try and get the gold. Yeah. But you've got a plus one odd. What's your bow? What's your bow? Another shot? reason. Yeah. Hit Three. But I'm also but I'm working like, like two things. Okay, okay. what are you gonna you gotta tell me what you're going for again? That's awesome. Filter for making my own arrows. And Fletcher. 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 Sorry. Yeah. I will remind you of this. You have that arrow. In the first session, Shane uh, superbly crafted an arrow, which will yeah. give you a plus one. That'll, yeah, that'll cancel out, so I'll use that. Okay. And I wanted to use hunting because, uh, dang it, I'm not good at explaining why I should get stuff. Well, then you say you're good at hunting. You're competent in hunting. You can <laughs> use a bow. You use a bow every day of your life. Okay, so that's all I have to say? You wake up and shoot a bow five times before breakfast. You can say, say some shit like I've that. I've killed an animal every day of my life. I also want a fork in mending because he's a golem and I know to strike at cracks because I mend. Okay, so, okay. I'll say, I'll say that. <laughs> I, I will go ahead and give that because you'll know to look for weak points. Okay, so, observation. Uh, okay, I think I, only, I got one. The uh, one canceled that out, so it's still yeah, only You still three. have to roll the dice. Even though it canceled out, you still got to roll the dice for that. Could James do something along the lines so, of he saw Zig's arrow yeah. bounce off, so he's going to aim at a more precise spot or something like that? No, I was going to nah. aim at the head in the first okay. place. But I need... 
Okay, the three for bow. Three for bow. One for hunting. All right, you get one more for your arrow. Okay, can I borrow that? Yep. Okay, one. Hold on a second here. Let me get you. Don't forget, the more dice you put in, the easier it is. So your tests for advancement are going to be stunted. Yeah, so the more you fork in, the less easier it will be for you to level up. Your what's my thingy? The, the, what's the challenge thingy? Uh, it is going to be an odd three. Odd three? Yep, it's an odd two, but you're getting hit with a rock in the face right now, so that's an odd three. Okay, so... Well, hunting, bending, arrow. And... Or release. Oh, wait, I could just... I don't think about that. I could just roll these twice. My bad. That's how you mess whatever you want. Guys, roll them twice. <laughs> yeah, guess who's going to use a play point? All right, that's a three. Go ahead and roll. You get to do three. Oh, that is three. I don't need to use yeah. a play point. So okay. roll. You get to roll three. You roll three more. Right. Yeah, if you roll. Yeah. The more successes, the better. Uh, yeah. So he got he got a four. All right. So <laughs> go ahead, and that'll be well, that'll be a routine, won't it? Because uh, it was six, six dice on three. Yeah, yeah that's routine. Yeah, all right, so mark down a routine for your bow. Yay, the second routine for my bow. And as James is getting hit in the face with this rock, as the orc is getting hit in the face with this rock, he lets the arrow fly, and it goes, and it goes straight, and it hits the rock monster for no visible damage. Just kind of tink bounces off of him. Oh, so... Oh, I, did, I had to say I was aiming for his eye. Mm, I would say what you wanted to aim for. Uh, well, the way that works is, man, we're doing one, one to. Uh, we can just do one to aim the shot, right, Shane? If we wanted to do like that, one extra success. Yeah, to aim to the head. One, one to move it to the head. Okay, so you rolled extra three. Success. You you got four, so uh -huh. you have one extra success. Yeah. Move so if head. you would like to aim at the head. Yeah. Okay, so sorry I didn't make yeah, it. You, play like that. We're just it. you hit it, and I'll Jim, say, Jim's I... "All right, you hit it with a mark hit. What's your mark hit with a bow?" Where's it? Where's Or incidental. I'm sorry, not mark. It's no stone. I. Right. Uh, you didn't have a bow on here, man. What you wrong? I rolled a two. Oh, okay, yeah, incidental. Alright, so okay. you hit him with a four. Alright, and the golem visibly recoils from the shot. You hit him right near where one of the gems is, and you see him kind of stumble backwards and kind of try and wipe away whatever it was that hit him in the face. Alright. Okay. Alright, so with my turn here, I'm going to try my best to distract this guy. I'm going to launch a knife, not in any specific area, honestly. I just want to draw attention from the guy who just shot the arrow. And then after this happens, I'm going to, I guess, run, run a check to see if I can run it. Okay. I just well, want to you'll, you'll have to I don't know how distractions, how do distractions work in this game, I guess is what I'm asking. You'll have to just do something, and uh, that'll be your action. My sole purpose is to distract him with a throwing knife. Right now. I want to get all the attention away from... Twinkles. That's good. Well, the thing is, you can do that, but, that doesn't mean oh but you're going to have to hit him somewhere. You can't just hit him with an arrow well, in the foot. Well, right now I'm throwing for the body. I, I, I would like to throw for the head, Okay. obviously. I, do I have an open line of sight to a different eye? I mean, it's constantly <laughs> rotating, so... Okay, well, so I mean, you're, you'll I'm basically... Talking. You'll always be able to wait and be like, oh, shit, there's the eye. There's okay, right well, there. I am going to wait... Till the eyeball doesn't have an arrow in it, and then I'm going to throw in a, a dagger at this eyeball. <laughs> well, that, the, the, the arrow didn't off. stick in the eye. It fucking hit okay. it and kind of, like, snapped and broke off. Hopefully I don't hit the same eye as what I'm going with here. You can hit the same eye. Yeah. Man. I want to hit the same eye. Okay, well, don't hit the same eye. I don't give a shit. Maybe Go ahead and... For this, I'm going to throw in... Since it's a throwing knife? Yeah. Okay. So That's going to be... be an ob four. 
All right. Uh, throwing. Um, I'm going to use. The reason I described it like that was I was waiting for the other eye. It was because I wanted to use observation. <laughs> And I also wanted to fork in my 1D long range sight perception if I'm long enough away in your opinion. Percent, Bar, what is that? That is my keen sight. I get 1D long range sight perception. Is that a trait? Plus observation. Die trait, yeah. I think it's that. Yeah, it's die traits. Uh, uh, you can do that, right, Shane? Die traits? Once per scene? So, keen sight. Like an eagle, elves may see a great distance with perfect clarity. Add, add 1D to all perception based field maneuvers. Okay. Okay, so that's not perception. So that is not perception based. Gotcha. I thought it said like also observation or something like that in there. Nope. Man. No. 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 Uh, it, it's going to negate penalties for darkness, but you're not oh. going to get a bonus die for shooting a bow. I got you. All right. So throwing. Yep. So you will be testing your throwing. And knife. I'll fork in. So yeah. Uh, I again. I forget. What is your, what's your throwing? Three. All right, so that's three. So put one extra die in there for knives. knives. And then do I get the observation for looking for this eyeball? <clears throat> um, I guess that's a, that's you a can say you just observe, observe James hitting the eye and it became effective, so you know to hit the eye. That's, that's not how observation works, huh? though. I thought. How do you guys say you level up the skill? Uh, it's got to be like if it's a level one, it's one routine and one difficulty challenging. If it's a level two skill, it's got to be two routine. two routine and one difficult or challenging. And it's if it is level one, it's level three. Both. Oh, it's level three. Mm -hmm. If it's level three, you got to have three routine and two difficult or one challenging. Two routine and one challenging. Three routine. And okay, one so I need to do one, one more. Three routine okay, and one challenging. Too difficult or, or one challenging. Yeah, I already have one challenging and two routines, so if I get one more okay. routine, then okay. it'll level up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and it, that level up takes effect instantly. So yep. that's like, you don't have to wait till the end of the session. You go like, boom, you just learned that extra skill right there. In the middle of me shooting my arrow, it somehow curves and hits this guy <laughs> in the ear. <laughs> All right. It like twinkles. All right, so you're doing... Throwing, throwing, knife, yeah. and what else? Is that it? No, see, I'm trying to... I mean, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm trying to figure out how exactly observation works. It's not necessarily combat Observation skill. is like noticing stealth and mm -hmm. looking for ghosts and shit and like keeping an eye out. Well, I would have noticed the weakness from him shooting it and him staggering a little bit. Okay. That, that is the target that I need to hit. But that's the way. And then I'm also... Are you looking at chain? Observation is the skill used to spot the hidden characters, traps, ghosts, etc. All right, so I'm, I'm locating the weak point of this golem. It's going to be used for actually spotting. I, I, I would say if I could use that if I was somebody like, hey, stealthed in combat. Okay. Yeah, here, here's a note. Let me continue reading. Do not use observation for standard perception tests to spot a weakness in armor, to notice details of a flag or a look. So, like, if you're trying to notice a weakness, you can't fork an observation. You would have to roll a perception. I have to roll observation. <laughs> I mean, the knowledge the knowledge of the weakness is the benefit we got, I got you. from you know having from doing perception. Based. All right, so I get right. what? So you throw. just get three, four. I only get three, four. Yeah, four. Because I got three off throwing and one off knife. Yep, right? yep. Four that's it. Knife. All right, it's four on four. Yep. Boom, all fails. I fail horribly. All fails. I got a one that helps you too. Okay, so. As the elf throws his knife, as he tries to throw his knife, he goes to pull it out of the sheath. He goes to fling it, and it just slips out the tip of his fingers and just falls flat at his feet. He just stands there and looks at it. He's like, well, shit. I like, am too skittish right now. Yep, that was it. And you just tried to fill <laughs> it to James. Day. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll test for that. Uh, that would be a challenging test. <laughs> what, what do I need on a three to level? Uh, a three is one challenging and three routines. One challenging and three routines? Yep. All right. Or two difficult. 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 Or two difficult. But he just got a challenge. Right. Did we stagger... Like, did we stagger the golem? You said he kind of lobbed to the side a little bit. You staggered the golem. The golem is at a plus one odd right now. All right. 
I'm going to run, just bum rush him with my hammer. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to call shenanigans because I haven't even gone yet and Shane's taking the second turn. You ran over to Shane. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that wasn't that the was very first turn. turn. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, beat him to the goal now. You're going to do a speed <laughs> test to beat him to the goal? Yep. Nice. Uh, All right, go ahead. Roll your speed again, Shane. Um, Wait, First off, that... I want to do a small observation test to figure out how high his head is. Like, if I could, if I could actually hit it or not. What, with can a sword? I, can I reach him? No. I it's too I'm, high. Not, I'm not even going to make you roll an observation test. He's too fucking big. He's, He's like too high. So if I look at Zvi real fast and say, Zvi, can you make that jump? He would probably look at you like you're fucking insane. Why the fuck would your wolf <laughs> jump at a goal? It's because I'm going to ride him into combat and hit it. Now, goal, I, I will you. say this. Think of your surroundings. Yeah. You cannot hit this golem in the face with a sword just standing flat on the ground. Yeah. Think of where you're at and what your surroundings are. Well, so there is there anything near him I can stand on? What is this room filled with? It's gold. filled with gold. Piles of gold. I, but is he near anything? Yeah. Shit, you I'm going to run up a pile of gold. There you go. <laughs> Gimli style and smash him in the face. Okay, so you're going to smash him in the face. Speed check? We're going to do... Are you still going to speed check? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, you guys still got to do the speed check. So go ahead and roll your speed chain and Brad roll his speed. I right, so you want to see who hits first? <laughs> yeah, he wants, oh, he wants to race you to right. the goal. Yeah. Uh, zero successes. Oh, four. <laughs> okay, so. What do you want to do, Brad? Um, how many different piles are there near him that we can run up? Uh, <laughs> I would say they're like two or three. Two or three piles. All right, well, while I see Shane going for one of the piles, I'm going to take another pile. Okay. We're going to go at him at a cross pattern. But I realize once I get all the way up to the top that Shane is out of sight. <laughs> I'm all alone. I'm all alone. He's in my dust. Hang on a second. We'll, we'll say that Shane reaches his pile after you reach your pile. Okay. So, how do you want to hit this guy? I am running up the pile, and I'm going to jump and hit his face. Okay. One of the eyes. If you're going to jump. One of his eyes. And hit his face. I'll say you have to do a length test on this. Uh, versus? Uh, <laughs> well, at first, he's going to have to roll agility. You're going to have to roll agility to see if you can make the jump okay. and not stumble. Now, the agility, uh, because it is loose treasure, <coughs> I would say it's going to be an out three. So I got three. You got three? On a four. Three on four? Yeah. Sixes don't explode on abilities, right? No. Okay. So you so you pass it? Yeah, I got it. You pass it? Okay. So you make that portion. Now I watch you miss my swing. <laughs> you hitting it with your sword? Yeah. What's your sword skill? Uh forward. Running up a pile of gold. Okay. Uh, yeah, I already had to do an agility test to see if I can make it and run and jump. No, I beat Shane. I did my agility. Watch me miss my swing. <laughs> Makes sense. I threw a knife 13 inches <coughs> into the glass. <laughs> Hopefully, Hayes is going to be like, yeah, you can pick that up. No, it's too otherwise, deep. Otherwise, I'm going to roll perception to see if I can find my knife. It's <laughs> not going to be my next turn. It's, you guys. It's, it's too deep. It's too deep in the ground. I'm crazy. That, uh, that knife is going to be my mother. Uh, you don't have more than one? No, I have 20. I'm crazy. That you got 18 now. I want that knife. I have 19. You have 18. I'm gonna spend you lost your first one. I'm going to spend the rest of this fight getting that. <laughs> I have not. Okay. So you're going to roll against this guy's reflexes. Uh, that would be crazy. Damn, they fucking do it. Um, I am going to use one persona. You're going to spend a persona point? Yeah. And I'm going to have my wolf help me. Okay. Now, as... You call in Zwei. Yep. You will notice something is wrong with Zwei. What's wrong with Zwei? 
you'll notice that something is it's like it's weighing him down. Pull out your carrier sheet for why. Yeah. Look at his status. Sickness of stone. When the rock monster was summoned, it yeah. triggered a chain reaction. Ends why? Because he was an orc great wolf. Why would you do that? And it started the stone sickness. So yeah. his tail is actually fully stone right now. And he's like slowly turning into stone. So we can't use why. It's just you. What the fuck? How am I? Why would I even continue the attack? You didn't know that. You didn't know that until you tried to get Zwai's help. And then it's like, boom. That was, that was scary. Yeah, what do you mean? There. Look at that. Take those. What do you need? All right. How many are you rolling? Four. Um... You can't work in brawling with sort of thing. No, you can't save rolls. No, I meant like you shouldn't have rolled it. I shouldn't have rolled it. It's Three. fucking four sixes. And then two more. Okay. I got four. Okay. The obstacle was a two. So, as you fly through the air, take your sword, <coughs> wham, hit him. Right dead in the center of one of the crystal eyes. Now. Yeah, that's good. Damn! What's <laughs> your superb? My that superb? Sucks. Your S on your sword. It is 10. Okay, you hit a 10. The rock monster staggers hardcore. Yeah. It fucking wails hardcore. Now, as this rock monster is wailing, sounds almost like he's calling out for something. So, as this whale is going on, <laughs> you see how I want to handle this. <coughs> I gotta make it back to Zvi. Get me off this rock monster. Do you really? Because there's nothing you can do for him. It's gonna be interesting. The character knows that. I don't know that. I don't even know what's happening to him. His I don't know what that means. Are you sure your character doesn't know what that means? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Sure. I'm, I'm, I would say my character knows that since his tail is turning into stone and he's gradually turning into stone and he's getting slower. He would not, Brad, have to roll an observation. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening to him. We'll save that for later. I would I say as this happens, you see three cracks appear in the ceiling. And you hear a lot of rumbling, and you see debris starting to fall. All of a sudden, you just see these large, form, little like rocks, just like big rocks, just falling out of the sky, out of the ceiling. As they hit the ground, they kind of unfold like transformers. It's smaller rock elementals. Now three got more. Three, three surrounding them, basically, right? So, now... Brad is basically hanging on to this rock dude's face with his sword. And you have three other guys who have now just entered the fray. Well, I believe it's Shane's turn. Well, I, I, don't, I don't... Actually, at that point, it, it is almost the guys who just dropped out of tunnels. And they get an attack of opportunity of sorts. Well, hey, Shane and I were doing a speed test. I attacked, and then while I was attacking, Shane was already running up the, the yeah, like I pressed it. and then they fell down. He just got smashed by a rock. Right. Well, I'll, say, I'll say this. I'll say they're not elementals because I'll have to stat those out real quick. I'm not going to fuck with that. Uh, I will say they are goblins. Stone shaped goblins. Three goblins. Oh my Goblin God. shaped stone. Nice. So right. have three goblins to drop out. Alright. Here we go. You should know how powerful goblins are. Because they hang around with orcs and stuff like that. I just want to know. Now. Take three of them. <laughs> point, point of confusion. Is the 
uh, stone golem? Is he falling? Uh, so like going to a knee at this point. The stone golem is about to fall. What's he is, the, he is teetering. What's the um the d6 that you roll when somebody's getting hit? Uh, that determines whether it's uh, incidental mark or superb hit. One to two is incidental. Uh, three to four is a mark hit, and five to six is a superb. All right. So it's how much damage. It's how much damage it does. So you hit him with a B10, which is... Uh, pretty substantial. Uh, pretty brutal. Think. That's pretty brutal. That's at least half his health. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's... He, he's hurt. You can... Visibly see... The you can what visibly is, see that the rock monster is shaking. What does it add? What do you mean? Like add? It says add on your weapon? What's the add for, Shane? It's just speed, isn't it? No, the add is... Uh, oh, how much you can spend to do more damage. So, like, if you wanted to do more damage, uh, but you can't really do that because you've kind of topped it out. You hit on the max damage. Yeah, yeah. Well, the the way it should work, Hayes, is we roll the die of fate for missile weapons, but mm-hmm. you don't roll a die of fate for damage. You you spend you have to spend extra successes to elevate damage. You start. Okay. Well, I had I had you had 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 right? The ad tells you how many awesome. dice you have to spend to go to Mark and then go to Superb. Okay. Okay. So, it was an odd two. It was an odd two? Well, yeah, I, I you passed rolled four it by, dice. I passed it by two. I passed it by roll five. You rolled five? Thought. You so rolled you one and you rolled. Yeah, sword is four, and then I used one persona. Okay. So, you rolled five, and you got, what, four out of it? Yeah. So, that would have been an incidental hit, and it would have actually dropped the damage down to a Mark hit. If you want market. to spend the extra uh, successes. Die of fate on this. This is kind of like a crunchy like version of Versus. Oh, okay. The other, the, the way Versus is supposed to work is like... In- well, range, ranged and you're melee are different. With, with melee, you're rolling to hit. And once you hit, it's automatically an incidental hit. Mm-hmm. But you have to spend extra successes, where it says add two. You have to spend two more successes to get a mark hit. To get a mark, and you would really have to spend two more to get a superb. So that means you'd have to meet what your goal is, and then get four, four extra successes on oh, top. So of you can just get lucky and get a superb, or you can spend four and get a superb. No, well, you can get lucky and get a superb with ranged weapons. I did that one. That was a mistake yeah. on my part. I'm confused as to what he just said about missiles. Because I rolled a roll my when I threw all of my knives. Well, missiles is just roll the hit the same way, and then I roll the die of fate. fate. Like I did, well, I mean, you miss, you miss, so. You haven't tried to hit anybody yet. That, that works different than in combat. Everything I've thrown, I failed, so. Yeah, I mean, it's different than if okay. it's combat. If you're, like, trying to do damage, then you have to roll the die of fate and decide what the damage is. Gotcha. All right. Well... I am going to slide down the mountain of gold and wallop him in the leg to get him on his back so that Brad can finish the job and we can, the rest of us can take on the stone goblins. Okay, well, let me see. So battle mechanics are normally just up to the GM. Like, you're the one that hands out bonus dice. Like, saying, since I hit him and he's stumbling, if Shane aims for the one leg that looks like his support, that's like a bonus dice? Is that how this works? Uh, I mean, it could. It could work like that. I could, you know, give him an advantage and be like, look, the thing's off its guard. You know, it's already... He's already got an obstacle to pass his test because the first wound that was dealt was a superficial wound. Uh, then you dealt a severe wound. <laughs> the thing is, I risk. It's like I always risk getting hit. Yeah. yeah. So the thing is, he can still try and hit him, but if he rolls horribly and fails, he can still get hurt. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna slide down the pile, and I'm just gonna take this hammer and <clears throat> see what I can do. All right. Well, go ahead and roll. So I'm gonna roll my roll my hammer. Right. Plus uh, plus one D for the balance die. All right. All right. 
And uh, your obstacle is a one. <laughs> All right. Through him? No, the hammer gives him a skill. Oh, the wow. hammer is the one that he automatically has a level four skill, but he can't advance it, and he can't ever learn hammer while he's holding. So I hit, I hit two, but I'm going to spend another fate point. Ooh, uh, I got two sixes. You got two sixes? Yep. And I hit three. So I hit three altogether. So uh, if you want to do damaging rolls, I'll spend my two extra successes. All right. You elevate to a mark hit, which is a seven. Okay, so it is a seven. Yep. And I got a VA of two on that hammer. Armor penetration. Okay. I'm just going to interpret the result. As you yeah, hit this rock monster with this mighty hammer, <laughs> the meat starts to crack and it just explodes, shatters. You'll see it. And the rock monster just tumbles flat on his back. Brad's riding that shit down like a fucking badass. Yeah, because I got like, right. He's like, yeah, <laughs> holding on the handle of his sword as the rock monster's falling. Just sitting there like he's fucking cool as shit. And uh, the rock monster is down and it's not moving. Ankle stop me from swinging at it again. So he is stabbing <laughs> the rest of his eyes. He is down and not moving. Now. Don't stop me now. <laughs> now, the problem is... Three goblins. Yep. My new problem is... I'll shoot him in the face. Whose turn is it? So, whose turn is it? It Mine. will be James's turn. I'm going to shoot a goblin in the face. You're going to shoot a goblin? When I see him falling down, I'm going to shoot him in the face. All right. You're going to shoot a goblin. I'm going to speed test him to intercept that arrow. Well, we're going to say the goblins are already up. They're not, they're not falling at this point. They're already up. Okay. So... Throw those motherfuckers all into the same test. What did you say? Throw them into the same test. Okay, we can do that. Like, we'll just we'll do take all them all on at one time. And just be like, bro. Okay. You know, I'm do that. Like, I'll just shout out, like, all right, gank them. Like, everybody go right now. I want to well, let your we'll character do. remember he needs to soak that claw. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, Shane, you and Brad are going to be indisposed, though, because you're still, like, in the ruins of this rock monster. Yeah, like, while we're falling is when they So, go. right now, it is... Oh, okay, the, so we're split off. All right, no problem. The orc and the elf, now. So, I take out my hanky and soak up the blood. Pass what it. you can do, you guys can either attack them separately, or you can attack them as a group, and you pick one of you two as the point man. I'm the point man. I, my job is to... Distract and protect you at all costs. Right, I'm going to do, James. What does the point man do? I'll roll you. That means he's going to be rolling his stats, and you'll only be giving him a helping die for whatever he wants to do. But the benefit is you can take him out in one roll. Yeah. It's like the thing is, you can kill you can kill all three in one roll. Yeah, but won't he? Won't he could be like, boom! I'm going to use my throwing knife. You'll be like, all right, well, I'm going to assist you by shooting an arrow. So here's my one D helper die for me shooting. An arrow. Yeah, but I won't only be assisting with that one D, right? Yeah, all with that one year. All right, so that's I'm gonna I'm, actually I'm gonna change my mind. Then I don't know how that's how it works. You know, the the goblins are only gonna be rolling the same way. The goblins will have one guy who's a point man who go up against. So the thing is, you could slay all the goblins in one hit. You know what I mean? By killing the point man. They're taking damage as a group, James. Oh, 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 oh. We're fighting three times. We're fighting one in a Yeah, the trick is just stay, yeah, together. Stay, with, stay what you want to do. Together, together. I'm trying to get some <laughs> It's all right, James. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, so no loud noise. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage? You want to roll speed for it to see who gets it? I'll do it. Who gets point man? Seems like a fair way to do yeah. it. Okay. Who, who gets okay. point man? All right, speed versus speed. But yeah, we don't trust nobody. Three successes. James got. All right, so it's me. Your speed's a three. Yeah. I, I That's thought what I was going <laughs> You shut up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go for the most badass move ever. Okay. I'm gonna take out my elven knife. Okay. From my boot. I have two knives now, right? Okay. I can do that in standard action or something like that. Uh. I want the dual wheel. My knives. 
That's and the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm gonna run through this crowd of goblins trying to slit throats. How do you how do you handle offhand, Shane? How do you handle offhand weapons? Uh, they well, weapons. really, you don't. There are actual offhand flavor. rules, and there's an offhand skill. Oh shit, damn. All right, well, I'll I'll leave it. I'll keep I'll keep it not so complicated. And I'll just, I'll that's just for a fight. Way. Sorry. That, hey, we'll just say it would be flavor. We'll say it would be flavor for this, I I and I'd give you one D. I'd be like, look, if you're going to do two knives, I'll give you one D. Off. Well, see, I also wanted to add into this flavor that I'm going to try to do some wushu moves up in this mofo. <laughs> My dude's flipping <laughs> all up in this bowl trying to distract these goblins. Okay, okay well, here, what we'll do. And cut their throats. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just roll, yeah. and if you're successful, I'll let you describe it. All right. So my elven knife, I do that as my attack, right? Oh yeah, you're gonna be attacking with your knives. You yeah, but you use knives. It's knives. 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 knives is throwing. Then you have knives throwing. and throw. Okay. So you I use got, they, they both work the same way. Like I can use knives pretty much. You can fork attack. throwing into yeah, or knives into throwing. So here you can only use your knives. Yeah. Okay. So, hmm. I observe all of this going down. The three guys hit the ground. I see my opportunity to attack and keep my comrade out of trouble here. So I just start running as fast as possible, cutting off two of them quickly. You gotta roll first. Yeah, you can't, yeah. you what can't am I describe it. What am I rolling it. off of? Just the knives. Just You're gonna be rolling your knives and any other skill that you can. That's what I was trying to fork in. Was my other skills. That's why I was talking. You gotta argue. You can't describe. You gotta. You yeah, gotta tell me. You right. gotta tell I me. get observation as a fork in? No. No, you that doesn't work that way. I'm not looking for an opportunity of weakness or anything here. Yeah. Fuck it. Um that was roll four. I don't even care about trying to You got four, anyways. all right. Now so I have to teach you more. You're ro- he's rolling Thanks. his not his brawling versus your knives. Okay. I got a one. I got two and it's been a fate. You got two. And you want to spin a fate? Yeah, I do. All right. Boom. One. Nope. Just two. Okay. So, mark your fate off. Wasted what now. What is? You can tell that story. All right. You succeeded. What is uh, your mark? What is your mark hit with your knives? My mark hit with my. All right. Incidental. I'm sorry. Is three. Okay. So you hit with a. Your mark hit. That's five, ain't it? No. Knives are add one too. Knives are add one. Add one to that because I rolled one over. So that makes. Yeah, you, is it an add? Is it an add, add one? one? Oh yes, you can add one to make it a market. Mark, What's your market? The spot. Okay. You want to know why elves are broken? Because they can add for one. They can add for one on anything else. It's just that knife. No, it's the elven. Elven it's the gear. Knife. The elven knife that I have yeah. is such a bad. It's like knife. elven gear. What kind of gear I have? I have a knife, bro. I, I don't it, care. Bitch. My claws and fangs do like <laughs> nine damage. What's up with this hesitation, Shane, on oh. the goblin? Oh, they don't hesitate. It says nine of six. Oh, wait, wait, wait. For for whom? Are you looking at the monster burner? No, I'm looking at the back of the book. I'm looking at page 567. All right. Let me just look really quick. Uh, 567. As you hit them for damage, it's going to be automatic steel test. For me? Yeah. No, for them, not yeah, you. Cause they're okay. hit. Yeah, because you have done a light wound in damage. So I should have definitely done tracking on that. I'm attacking three people. I could have been like, my tracking skills will help me. You know nope. what I'm saying? Cool, my tracking skills will help me. They're get right in front of them. you. They're right in front of you. You can't track. So, Hayes, I'm not confident. What I would do Maybe. is I would say their hesitation is a nine because they have a will of one. Okay. I got a hesitation. That's what I would say. And and I just wouldn't worry about that because I'm gonna have to look that up at some point. I don't know what that. That's something special. And they fail their steel test. So they got Peepat's cart. <laughs> they are just going to stand and drool. They are in awe of this elf who is. Oh, I didn't even add my D for the story. Flipping, oh. flipping and shit. Now you get to describe how you're going to take him out. All right, and there's another guy to describe how I'm going to take him out. So I'm picturing that there's two out in front of me and one who's kind of off by himself. You know what I'm saying? There's two directly in front of me. So I'm going to take off running and screaming because I'm crazy. <laughs> running and screaming by some grave shit, right? Uh, like the good old days. Uh, and as soon, as, as, soon as I get in, running. like, let's, let's call it pouncing distance <laughs> from them, I'm going to cartwheel into a backflip and cut at both of their throats. 
<laughs> one sprinkle into the other. Wait, did that help? Well, right? He's got to help. You got to. You got to. You were the third one. You smacked this dude in the throat with an arrow, and I just stopped. Nice. Move it through, dance. <laughs> Boom. Yay. Targets have been defeated. Yes. See how quick we can do that? Nice. That's, I like that. That's what I'm saying. Like You can do it fast by grouping up, but the thing is, it, just take a chance it can fuck up. everybody up. It can fuck up. everybody up really bad. If you'd have failed, I'd have been like, yep, yeah, you start car wheeling. And that third one comes in and <laughs> kicks you right in the chest <laughs> while you're car wheeling. <laughs> and I okay. stab myself. But he kicks that's me in the chest. That's what they call it. Oh, my <laughs> dagger. <laughs> he sweeps the legs and I trip forward Man, on my He's flipping in the air thinking, I've trained all my life for this. <laughs> he's laying like right on the <laughs> That would have been suitable for my character to be everything else. That's what they call pre hot trash talk. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get that you a score as a knife, a knife test. That was a routine. That was a routine test for your knife. Oh, um, uh, that was a routine test for your bow because you were helping him. And I don't get shit for that hammer. You don't, you don't get nothing four. for that hammer, Brad. Four out of two. It was four out of two, so that is more than likely a routine test as well. Okay. I can hear what you guys are saying. Just uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Jamie, where'd you go? Oh, so my fingers. Go? They feel so much more nimble. I can I draw arrows so. faster. I can aim. My breathing is easier. That's can we easy. just say, like, I don't know if it's another routine, but I was even if. Do I erase the routine and the challenge now? That once, I got it? once it levels up. <laughs> Yeah. You erase the routine right. in the challenge. And you're His dance is skill. <laughs> His dance is You skill. can learn it. I would like to put you that on my learn, skills to learn right now. Learn, perform. My dude's going to bust out the worm. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and put performing on your skills being learned. Even, you even if you me? didn't tell us that we killed the dude, I was going to stab the golem in the head again. Yeah, you can do that if you want to. Just keep routine. stabbing. Uh, I was going to do it one more time just to see if it try, That out. wouldn't be a routine. Combat's yeah. over. So you would just yeah. be hitting ah, it in the damn, face. Fly all the gems out of his eyes. Fly them out. You can With say that. We're done. Yes. I, I, I have skills in that, in that area. Yeah. Don't, 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 worry, don't worry about the dwarf. So, uh, so dwarf, go we're going to need a big... Hold on a second. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. We're going to need a big... Shane, hook me up with dancing's. Uh, That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were looking at something else. Dancing's face. Because I really want to bust the right, right so... now. I feel happy. Well, I kind of want to check on Zig, man. That dude's dead. That's all. That's what my character just said to you. I want to. <laughs> what's, what's performing under Shane? Performing? Acting? Acting? acting. Okay. It might be acting. There's also dancing. There's singing. Yes, and that's what we're looking that's for. What I'm Brent, looking for dancing. Brent said he's going to do a victory dance, so I'm going to let him open that skill. I'm going to let him start learning. It's too risky. The consequence of failure, man. <laughs> dance is your speed. So God, I don't want to do this anymore. Ten, ten minus your speed. What is it? Five, five. It's a five? Okay. You have to do five more dance tests. What kind of dance do you want to do? A simple folk dance? A proper polite dance, proper or formal or seductive dance. I would like to do a proper dance. A proper dance is an obtu. Right. So I got so nice. set off a trap. Don't do it. So it's going to be your agility. Yes. So it'll be an ob four is what it's going to be. Oh my to god. To do this proper agility? dance because it's untested. Against it's agility. Skill. Yep. Maybe you can. What happens if he fails? Agility test. I don't know. Yeah, I can't. You can't forget anything. If he fails, it's not going to be anything major. He looks like a fool with his pants. Right. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, in the What else exists? Yeah, you don't have to choose the two out of three. To these. You got two, two out of three. Yeah. Okay. So as the elf. Starts to dance. I could have busted a persona and say that like a stage rises up out of the gold, and I get to dance on that. that Go ahead happen. and mark one, because when you're trying to open it, Shane, doesn't your initial test count also? Uh, yeah, like that. If you're trying to open up a skill, you yeah. just mark a routine. So, you're, you're, so mark a routine. So now you only have four more, four more dance. So 
as the elf starts to dance, <laughs> he starts off and he's looking he's looking pretty good. You know, he's got some moves down. Looks like he's kind of doing a little bit of a waltz. And he's you know stepping one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, oh shit. He steps on a goblet and it rolls out from under his feet. He fucking just falls flat on his back and just lays there. Just <laughs> <laughs> I find that endearing. Close yeah. enough. That's Dude, all my dude wants. I find that endearing. endearing. We need to keep this guy around. Okay, so. I'm a little crazy. Now, as all of this is done, everything's kind of settling around. Over where Zig was hit by the rock monster. Uh, I'm gonna get down and check on his body. Like I'm going down, I'm looking. I wanna roll speed. To stop Look, I see what happened under under that. Uh, I wanna let this unfold. I'm gonna roll speed to stop you. You're a I just, just wanna make sure, like, if he's alive, I wanna resuscitate him. Okay, so you you wanna go over and check on Z? Yeah, like I'm gonna go over and I'm like trying to see what's under the rock, see see what okay. I can. See. And like I, uh, you know, I light. I actually <laughs> wanna just actually light a torch. All right, roll. I mean, I know we can kind of see in the dim, dim light here, but uh, I want to get a really good look. Observation. Go ahead, and I want you to roll your perception. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> roll my perception. Just so you know, Zig had a fake point. Uh, is there an obstacle, or is this just graduated? It's an ob four. All right. Uh, I'm looking carefully, so I'm going to take an extra die for that. Okay. I'm not too worried about time. I won't, I, wasn't doing that. I won't help him. All right, I hit four. I hit four. <laughs> but I'll stand over his shoulder and just look like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, all right. Well, I hit it. I already hit it. Yeah. yeah. I already hit it. You hit four. So as you are digging through to the uh, the debris, you know, you're digging, you're getting near the bottom, and you're like, man, something just is not right here. And something catches you out of the corner of your eye. All right. You kind of stand up, and you look over to your right, and there is Zig. Nice. He's leaning up against a pile of rubble, hands in his pockets. Doesn't look like anything has happened to him. His clothes aren't dirty, messed up. He's not bloody. He's just standing there. He says, what you looking for, dwarf? Zig, my brother. I'm glad you're okay. My cousin. What happened? He was right. <laughs> what people? Uh, the dwarf I was, was what big. happened was Shane ran over there and was digging. He rolled a perception. He hit the perception. Uh, Zig somehow is magically not in the rubble. He's just like leaning up, chilling up against the stone in his hands in his pocket. You badass. He's so. like, he's like, what you looking for, dwarf? <laughs> uh, I wish I had a song of celebration. But, uh, well, yeah, like I was looking for you, Zig. I was looking for you. I'm concerned about you. I was concerned. Don't you mind me. I, uh, I feel fairly certain that I can handle myself in such situations. Slight cough and blood just out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you're okay, Zig. I'm glad you're okay. Well, thank you. I uh, find it refreshing to be in the presence of companions who seem to care about each other. I stand up and I'm like, yeah, companion! I <laughs> love the dwarf. <laughs> When he says that, there, there we do. In fact, Zig, I promised you, I promised you fine arms and armor. Then in, in return for your services, I would like to hear, extend that oath to all of us now that we have this bounty of treasure. Zig, are you my friend? So I'm going to rewrite my oath and say I will outfit Zig and... Everyone else. Well, really? I quickly want to grab the dwarf by the arm and take him over to Zavai and ask him if he knows of anything that's happening to him right now. What is this? Well, first off, Brad, you can roll an observation. And it's going to be a graduated test. It's not going to help. Uh, well, do your, do your perception. Uh, one. You got a one. Okay. So, 
from what you can remember, thinking back to the day that days of old, you met Zwei. He was imprisoned in the camp, as you set him free. There was an orc shaman. Mm -hmm. The orc shaman cursed Zwei for turning his back on the orcs. That's all you know. That's all I know. That's all you know. You would have also known that he didn't start acting funny until this powerful uh, rock monster appeared. Was summoned by the orc. I'm just glad he didn't get a swing at one of them. Uh, this this puppy this puppy has the stone itis. The stone itis. Rock jaw. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this illness before. It is it is common to dwarves who delve deep in stone, but we can handle it because we are made of stone. I've also seen it. Everybody that has it. Don't. He will need the aid of a dwarven surgeon. Of a dwarven what? A dwarven what? A dwarven surgeon. A chirurgist. I can't pronounce it. A chirurgist. Do you know of any once we restore your, your honor? Will you be able to find one for me? I will not ask of anything else from you. I can try my best, but I can't guarantee is he like not the rock monster the one who's tail is staying stone and everything? Well, he's like so it's slowly like turning. Like his tail is completely stone. It started at a tip, and now the, his whole entire tail is stone. Oh, okay. You can see it kind of starting to spread up his spine. In the meantime, I can I can craft a bassinet for the wolf, so you can carry him. Yeah, I'm gonna chime in and say I think our our biggest thing right now is to try and get back to any kind of civilization so All we can right. find some heels. So you want to craft a carrier for the wolf, Shane? Only if it's a problem for the wolf to move around is what I was aiming at. I, you know, I don't want it to be a problem carrying him around. <laughs> so his back two legs are paralyzed. You craft him a wheelchair for doggies. Mm. <laughs> Essentially, it's a little, yeah. We'll do a health test. We'll do a health test on Zwei. What's Zwei's health? Zwei's health is 10. It's 10. No, it's not. It's six. It's six. He's got a health of six. Yep. Same as me. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, I'm saving not me. I have a health of three. <laughs> okay. You have an ob three to hit. You see if he can still move. I have a health of three. Well, on the first one, I got three. Okay. And the, yeah, got three. Exactly. Okay, so. Sixes don't explode on health. Zwei seems no, as uh, if... Uh, uh, he, he's fine. It seems as if his tail is just a, a, a minor inconvenience at this point. You know, he can move around, but he can't be really agile with his tail like that. Uh, you know, I, I would be pleased to help us find a, a dwarven... <laughs> okay. So field dressing wouldn't help me try to help him at all? Nope, nope, that's just... Well, at least I want to field dress James's cheek. I'm okay with my scar. And James said no willpower against that. All right. He has to accept it. He has. He has to. to he has to accept it, or, or will, you could right? power roll. You could roll like your will versus his will to see if you can do it, or your power versus win. his power to see if you can hold him down. Come on, man. Look at it. Have you seen your face? Oh. Look at it. Oh, I'm gonna fork going to power. Brad because my job is to keep him we're safe. Power. I'm gonna fork to Brad Damn. to do this. Yeah, let's do power, yeah. bitch. Can I force yeah. you, Brad? It's better than using will. What is your will for? At least yes. you have the same thing. You can assist Brad. You I'm can assist Brad. You're my, assist job, Brad. my job is to keep you safe. I can't That's have not you keeping bleeding. my... Uh, I'm not bleeding. It just... <laughs> yes, a cigar. Go ahead and roll, man. Is it already healed in just a cigar? It's still... I mean, it's still... Right. I am trying... Why not just heal I'm, it instead of... It'll be a scar, but I don't want... Well, makeup. as soon as you... Shall Nobody has magic. Dress. They can't magically heal it. All just I'm, bandaging your face. Yeah. Oh, you're bandaging my face. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, as oh, soon as God. you turn this down and you go to, like, say no to him, you see a tear come to my eye, and I hand him a dice in real life. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, like, so. bows up. And he's like, I'm about to hold this bed down. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God. My little elf ass is about to get on the You only got three successes? I'll let him do it anyway. Well, that's right. 
<laughs> I was gonna say because they were going to like pile drive you into the ground <laughs> and hold you down and bandage you. I was gonna bandage. try to choke him. Like I was gonna try my best to choke him. Okay, so, I would have got I would have got his body on this. I'm like, get him at the throat. The throat yeah, is right. Do that. <laughs> Cause I would have jumped in sleep. immediately too. It's, it's like move, dude. Choke in your sleep using move. Garrett and hunting. In martial arts. I was about to do un... Only one of us had to sleep at one time. Right? What is it called? I was about to do untrained fucking <laughs> against you or whatever. Huh? I was about to do untrained trying to choke you against you. You don't have... You have to have the wire, I think. Zig. Zig. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah. Zig, you of a surgeon. Oh. You've spent time among my people. What'd you say? Uh, what say you of a surgeon? You've spent time among my people. Allegedly. Do you want me? What What are you asking Zig to see if he knows how to do anything, or if he knows anybody? I'm asking if he knows anybody, or if he knows, or, or if he knows. Well, I would say throughout my lifetime, I was uh, a slave, and I was in the uh, servitude. I, I was in indentured servant. So, being a slave. I do know of some people who would heal the slaves that had been beaten or lashed too many times. So, but he could. Mayhap, I will need your help in finding a surgeon. Okay. I can do that. Now, so is that our next thing, guys? Are we going to try to get Zwei healed or... or we need to have a group discussion about you, Yeah, you've got options. You have options on what you guys want to do. All right. As I was explaining to Shane, <laughs> well, Shane, you go ahead. You go ahead and make the suggestion about the Wait a second. I'm an orc. That means he was cursed by an orc shaman. Maybe I can get some orcs to help Zwei out. Or maybe you know the shaman. You could. That's all. Here, here's the deal. Go ahead. Go ahead and... That could be your circles if you use it. Yeah. So go ahead and say what you want to do, Shane. <clears throat> All right. Here's what I want to do. We have a, an intersection of interests here, and I'm going to propose that we yeah. all contact and tap our resources, not only for Zwei, but also to gather all the treasure so that... We can pay everyone off and also have some treasure for ourselves. Now, my suggestion is we get a team of dwarven excavators to pinpoint the location of this cavern and up above so that they can just <laughs> your dog, your dog gets a persona. decide of the mountain and excavate a large hole so that we can easily get everything out. That's um, fine. With that... You know, I also want to extend that to have a have a contact of a dwarven surgeon, so everybody can tap all the resources and we can get a group. Maybe we can get a group of like twenty people together. I know the group. I know the traveling merchants that go through these woods. Yeah, no, we don't dude. need it right now. I feel like we have a little bit of time. Like I don't want to take that penalty. Yep. That's so, uh, so we can all take our time, go out, and and do that and see what the results are. Would you be okay with the orcs helping out, or do you not think we're that trustworthy? Absolutely. I, I would uh, with the help of orcs, and I, hopefully that will give you a chance to prove that your people are not savages. The most educated of the group it is. <laughs> it's just one dude. Yeah. I, I, I've changed my mind about the orcs, so I don't have that belief anymore. Okay. So, what are you guys going to do? Oh, are you, is everybody going to pull together and get one big circle of <coughs> Well, my question to the orc, as this elf, are you willing to, to step aside from your path to get this talisman for a brief little bit so we can help this guy's wolf, or do you want to go in on your own? Well, with me, obviously, because I kind of have to go with you. I love you. I am love. Okay, but anyway, and a little crazy. Okay, but I exclaim that it would be selfish of me to only think of myself as you try to help me with my quest, and you seem so willing to do so that I shall help you in your endeavors also. So, 
if this wolf... Better man than I thought, Twinkles. If I can prove to this wolf that all orcs aren't bad and heal him up, then I shall. Nice. Accommodate you. Okay. Indubitably. Indubitably. I'm trying to use number two. Alright, well, I personally, after hearing James say that, I want to look at Zephyr and say, see, we are all amongst friends here, and they all at least can handle their own. Yeah, I want to accommodate you on your shot, and I want to accommodate you on your goblin, like, kill it. And now I want to go in. Your goblin. I want to go in and go to give you a handshake and bring it up with my other hand when we go to handshake and say, you are becoming a good friend. I'm like, suck it. I'm crazy. <laughs> suck it. Nah, but I appreciate it. Can you help me find my knife? That's actually what I'm saying. I think I have to go to shake my hand, I'm going to ask you, can you help me so, find So, uh, without delay, I want to do this circle stance. Yeah, let's do it. Before we leave this cave, I would haze like to roll perception and see if I can find my knife. All right. Hey, Brad's going to help me because that was just the agreement. <laughs> when he shook my hand and said, good job, I was like, dude, can you help me find my knife? So he's going to split up and help me find it? I'll help you find it, too. Aw, you're such a sweet friend, Twinkles. I'm going to roll. I just call you Orc. I have said. I'll call That's you That's fine. <laughs> well, what's your, what's your <laughs> circles? My circles? No, I'm going perception. To find my oh, okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I seem a little reluctant to find it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Did I help? Is that me? <laughs> it was on two. I dropped it. And it was on two. It was like right at your feet. Right. Yeah, I walked over there. I was like, hey, guys, wait. I forgot. I you dropped it right here. You remember your foot hurts. And you look down. <laughs> your There's boot. a dagger sticking <laughs> through his foot. But, like, okay, so and, everybody look at your circles. All right, circle. What is your circle's exponent? One. Two. Two. I, I, I want to lead the test. All right, you want to lead it? What's your circle? I have a two circles, but I also have a reputation and an affiliation. <coughs> Ooh, you win. Okay. And I have the hammer of my family, and I want to claim an advantage. Okay. For I... all dwarves that I'm contacting, because they can see the hammer. I'm going to okay. sit down. I will give you the advantage on that. Right. So, everybody who can give a dice, state how, and go ahead and give it a shake. Song of Path and Ways to help your guys get here. Nope. No. Uh, it's got to be a circles, and you're going to pick a life path that you share. Well, uh, it right. can't be a affiliation. Uh, like, I'm well known in the human district. I can get some people to come over. He's going to be calling dwarfs. He's going to be calling dwarfs? I thought he said anybody, like orcs. Well, I mean, I'm trying to get what, what would you say with that, Shane? Would you allow an affiliation? Well, no, it's got to be, since it's circles, you can only help with your life paths. You just have to explain, because what you're basically doing is you're feeding Hayes information gotcha. for, how he, for how he can make us fail if a, if a failure happens. You know? Okay. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. And, you know, in, in this in this case, like, the GM could be like, like, let's say the orc helps out. He could be like, yeah, you get a bunch of orcs together, but now there's a big fight. Or whatever, if we fail. You're actually it's trying to steal the gold. Okay, so I'm going to hand you a dive, dice for all three of my life paths. You can tie this in however you want to. I was born in these woods. I wandered these woods. And I'm a huntsman of these woods. I will help your dwarves get here. All right. I'll take that die. All right. Health is green. <laughs> I have one circle, so I can just get some pretty much manual labor. Trustworthy fellows. Okay. Only for trust. So, Hayes, I want a team of about, like, 15 guys, like five from each race. Okay. All right. And I'm willing for it to take a little bit of time to get everybody together. Okay. So you're going to do it carefully, is what you're saying? Uh, not, not that I'm going to do it carefully, but according to the circles obstacles, like, I'm just thinking about I don't need them right now. I don't need them okay. to drop okay. them from the roof. I gotcha. I get what you're saying. Nah, okay, so. Because we're going to do this kind of abstractly, and then the next scene is going to play out. Right, so. How many dice are you holding right now? I've got four for my circles, my reputation, and my affiliation. All right. And I've got I've got two, two helpers. I've got two. one. I've got two helpers, one from uh, Brent and one from James. Brad, are you helping? Uh, the only thing I can help with, if you can only add life paths, is man at arms. I can say that. Uh, he can throw. He can throw your name in. 
as far as he's getting yeah, five of each race. Important, right? So you're known through the human district, so you can be yeah, like, yeah, you just throw my name in there and that'll help. Yeah, I'm Lord a royal, I'm a royal favorite of man, man like arms for the human district. Just throw oh, my yeah. name in there and some yeah, like human that. should come to your aid. All right, great. Now, I'm going to tap my greed to get this treasure by spinning a persona point. You're going to spin a persona point and tap your greed. Can't we spin a persona and do something to the obstacle for him? Uh, no, the, the person we the circle. Because it has to do with whoever is doing the test. Okay. I'm going to tap the fullness of my greed, and my greed is probably going to advance after this, so this is actually pretty dangerous for me to do. <coughs> okay. After this, three, four minute break. All right. How many dice do you have total? Eleven, Eleven dice. Oh, I'm gonna take twelve right away. Well, it's gonna be a ob six. Ooh. All right. Five plus, baby. Let's go, Shane. Get some sixes. They open ended, right? Sixes are open ended on circles, Shane, or no? I thought they were on circles. Well, hang on. We don't have to address that because... You rolled a billion. I failed. I failed by one. You failed by one? I rolled, five, I rolled five successes, no sixes. Uh, I can go throughout the land singing. Okay, okay. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. I'm going to think about what these consequences are. Oh, my goodness. We're going to take, like, a quick four or five minute break, Shane. Yep, that. All right. See how fun that is, guys? Yes, I like it, Shane. <laughs> Don't make it. Wait, did my dice fail, Shane? I'll tell you. Uh, yes, you failed. No! Uh, Brent, 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 Brent helped. Oh, no, the orange squad. Brent helped and uh, Brad helped. Whoa! Why is it always me? So maybe they can get what they want. I failed and the work failed. I couldn't give you any of my circles, could I? You did. You helped me. Yeah. I know, but I had you only life get one and anyway. circles. It doesn't work. Like The way it works is you're using your circles and explaining how you do it with your life paths. You see what I'm saying? So am I expending my circles when I do no. that? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, you're helping. Yeah, you're helping with circles, yeah. He's, he's saying, can't, are you spending a circle like you don't you use it and don't get it back? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Um, when you roll circles, I think you can do it. It might be like once per session. Oh, it, yeah, it depends on how well-known they are, how big they are, and... How often you can do it? It's like two times per, like major playthrough, depending on how tough they are or how much you use them. Yeah, that, that's to keep you from like circling, like infinitely circling. You can only summon like one dude with your circles once if he alters the, the game, like storyline. You can only summon him like once per major session. Six. Six. Fail. We still gotta follow our beliefs in this, so we're gonna be fine. Well, I was gonna lose all our gold. What the hell is up with this well, stone gold shit? Gold. God, I don't even know how to fix this. Why? I'm I'm trying to get a showman to you help us out. Nobody. It's not my fault. <clears throat> this is horrible, Shane. If it was me, I'd be like, bam. I was close, man. I should have spent another persona point before I rolled. I only spent I only spent one to tap my greed. I should have spent more to. Uh, I thought you would have been all right with eleven, though. There's there's no. I can understand. Bad rolls happen sometimes, man. Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna go get something to drink. <coughs> Bye, James. You ain't coming. No, it's too far. You should take Panini with you. Panini. Oh, my greed advanced to five. 
Get it, Rachel. Do I get five dice next time? You know, everybody in the world can see you sleeping if they watch this video. <laughs> Not really. It just it looks like a... It's like a leopard. Yep, just a leopard. <laughs> the real sexy thing is that cat. Look at that cat, Shane. Panini. <laughs> Have you ever petted Panini, Shane? He's allergic to cats. Doesn't matter. It's worth it. <laughs> I think I have actually. <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm, kind of crazy. Oh yeah, I'm sleeping so hard over here. Last one probably took older. Why? Why'd you go to sleep so early? Uh, still tired. Hard, hard working lady. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. So how bad can this fail, Shane? Uh, this this might point the whole session where it's gonna go. So yeah. it's only a minor thing. Like he he could say like the orcs just don't want to come. He could say that. If I were the GM, I would be like, you guys are now in the middle of a big fight. What the fuck? Why? That was one fail. Why would you do that? Because it's a it's a it's a failure like like higher higher the risk higher the failure like this was a big deal you know pulling together all these people yeah I would slap us with some really tough stuff you know I would maybe even lock us in prison like I would be like yeah everybody shows up and they blame you for releasing an ancient evil. <coughs> Yeah, they figure they figure out what happened. They blame you for releasing an ancient evil, and now you're in jail. That's, <coughs> that's what I would do. Just make it real abstract and take you to the next scene. Panini. Panini. Maybe I give you the chance to uh, escape, but now you're on the run. Jesus. And an assassin is hunting you. Jesus, all that for one failure. Yep. Yeah. Well, if we won it, dude, we would have had a big team helping us. So I felt like it was worth the risk. I can understand it being that big if, like, you fail by, like, three. Yeah. Yeah, I did only fail by one. And uh, that we could say that was uh, James's die. <laughs> so we could maybe spill some orc blood. Yep, thank God. Just to see. I mean, we got to see what Hayes hits us with, man. It's stuff that the GM interprets the result, you know? So it's like... That's messed up that Zavai's got this sickness, though. Yeah, well, I, it gives us something to work towards, I think. I don't even know how to fix them. I don't even know how hard it's going to be to fix them. It could be a potion. It could be, <laughs> like, you know, it could be the goal of our whole camp. It could, like, we could make that our thing. Like, everybody want to fix Zavai. Like, and we all go try to do it. It's going to be... You know. if, it gets, if it gets too bad, though, man, I'm going to have to take him into the woods to all the other gray wolves. <laughs> like yeah. all the other. Yep, yep. Uh, last ditch effort. Be like, oh, shit. Maybe they know what to do. Yeah. Well, we could we could go to the orcs. The thing is, like, I'm, I'm worried, man, because it's like there's a lot. Like, we're kind of in over our heads. Like, we handled that stone golem thing just fine. You know, like, so we feel all accomplished and everything. But that was pretty much nothing, I think, compared to what can happen and what will happen to us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I need to get a better sword. So what happens if a sword becomes superior? Oh, superior swords, uh, you just get the stats for a superior sword. Okay. And uh, I don't think superior quality arms have a balanced die. Let me check. It's like they're just better. They're just better all around. And uh, they don't. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you just get the stats. The only. The, like, the only time you're going to get really special stuff is with the Dwarven and the, the magic stuff. And ma magic magic items are pretty much made up by the GM. 
like they can give you a trait, or like with the hammer, it gives me the hammer scale, like stuff like that. The GM tries to balance it, balance the weapons out. He doesn't want to give you like a magic sword that kills everything magically. It's not gonna work. Right. Gotta That's why I went with the plus four hammer, uh, and you can't learn any skills with yeah. it. Yeah. Like it. Yeah, it's fair. It's balanced. It's like if I want to use it, it's like one day if he wants to get good at hammer, he's gonna have to put that hammer down. You know. Yep. It's like it, it's a cool. I think it's a cool narr. It's cool narratively. Like it works. You know. And I, you can't. The, the thing about burning wheel is I can't sit behind a B five hammer skill all my days because every time I'm failing with it, it's like I'm driving. Yeah. yeah. It's like eventually. I'm going to come up against something that I can't take on with a hammer. Yeah. So what do you think so far, Shane? Uh, you're about to fuck us. <laughs> That's what I think. Awesome. Uh, it, it, isn't it funny how Burning Wheel, it's kind of like, you just kind of cruise. You kind of cruise for a little bit until somebody fucks up. Yeah. Nice. So uh, Shane said that Brent and I passed our, our helping, and James was the one that failed. Yep, I know. Well, I failed, yeah. and James failed. I really. got something worked out. I failed, and and James. So, dwarves versus orcs. <laughs> so, um, can we pick the location where we are? Like, can I say we were traveling along a road, or are you gonna tell us where we are? You're in the cave. Oh, we're still in the cave. Okay. You're still in the cave. Nice. The rock monster body is fucking in the cave. The dead goblins are in the cave. You are in the cave. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, man. Every time you hit me, that's just more art coming my way, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Till death do I art Till death do I art So is climbing jumping? Because jumping's not a... Skill. That would be what is jumping? climbing would be actually like climbing up into a tree. Climbing a tree. So the, climbing a rock if you wanted to if you wanted to mount that rock monster, you'd be like, Alright, oh, I'm gonna climb this rock monster. So <laughs> that that jump that I did is no skill? No, that's just an agility. That was just an agility test. Yeah, if it's hard enough, you can mark a challenging or difficult test for it. Um, for agility? Yeah, it but was, it was just a two. It was just a two? Yeah. Hey, it's, yeah. It, yeah, that was basically your GM and fishing for you to fail. <laughs> Calling for like, an agility test like that? Uh, yeah. Anyway, I was going to say, don't forget to call for tools every now and then, because climbing, something like climbing actually requires tools. You could be right. like... Right, right. Like, you don't always have to do it, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like mending, when you were mending your cart, uh, I should have done a tools and then rolled a die of fate to see oh, if I have your tools. tools uh, yeah, I, I have more tool. tools too, so I could have been yeah, like, yeah. my Look at a plus one. Your toolkit is for lock picking. Right? That's, it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, when you buy a toolkit, you have to buy it for a specific skill. Okay. I got you. Yep, and they cost a lot. Why do they cost so much? Because it's a 1D, it's a 1D <laughs> advantage. Yeah. Because it's like your life path, one of the life paths you picked buys a toolkit. One of the life paths I picked buys a toolkit. Like one of the life paths I picked paid for one toolkit. Pretty much. Money on arm range. Yep. I mean, you know, like, we kind of live in a world where tools are probably managed by the guilds, you know? Like, the guilds are like, no, not everybody can have tools. You know? It's got to be. It's like, it's hard to build your own tools, you know? Hard to acquire tools. Gotcha. I always think of. Do you guys ever see or read Where the Red Fern Grows? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that boy, like, he wanted those hunting dogs so bad. Like, yeah. He saved for like a year. Like, amazing. That's how I feel about tools in this game. It's they're like, amazing. They're amazing. Those things are amazing. I, I want a pair of tools so bad. It's like, what is it? You know, dream about it. Water, basically. Oh, yeah. Do you need some energy? That'll do it for you. I'm just going to uh, fill out my water container. Hayes, I can hear what you're saying whenever you guys are ready to uh, reconvene. <laughs> Shane, have some of this some of this energy bar. Oh, you can fill this bar. Fill this bar, but it's full of energy. 
What, sugar? sugar? No, I'll read it all to you. Everything's in there. Thirteen grams of sugar, three grams of protein. Uh, and then it breaks off and says the 2% of daily diet, uh, diet is not a source of vitamin A and C. Where's my ingredients? There we go. I got <laughs> almonds, honey, palm oil. I got rice. I got high maltose corn syrup, corn syrup which is nothing but straight sugar. We got barley in here, which is a little bit of energy actually in that form. Wow, it's mm -hmm. so good. I, I'm drinking barley. You know, oh, lots of it. Yeah. Oh, barley? You drinking barley tea? I ain't no. Beer. He's drinking beer. Oh, beer. Drink okay, beer. so. Speaking of beer, actually. Yeah. No, you can go ahead, man. I'm, I'm listening. I'll wait. I'll wait till you get back. Yeah, Shane, we'll wait on you. No, Always you. No, Waiting on Shane. I'm going to roll tracking and observation to make sure that he's going to the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, turn your camera. I can't see. I can't see that you've gone to the fridge. There wanna, you go. Okay. I want to test surgery on its guilt on James's face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I stab him in the face. And and that would be one of those power rolls. They could hold you down and be like, let me practice surgery. Yeah, would be like, are you sure about this? I'd be like, trust me. So, so, you go away. Go away. Oh, yeah. no. Oregon and Stephanie yeah. might call me. I'm just going to mute and talk to her real quick. Okay. 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 So. so. The call goes out. The call goes out. You guys sit around for about an hour. You guys are just kind of resting, gathering your wits back up. And as you guys have been sitting there for a little bit, you know, just kind of celebrating, talking mm -hmm. about your victory. I would like to prepare a trap on the entrance. Why? You trying to fuck all the people up there? No, you. no, 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 no. You can't do a selective trap. You can't be like, I'm gonna set a trap that no. only that no. only no. does. That would be a trap that I could set off by pulling something. Okay. Why? Why? Just in case somebody gets some ideas okay. and start running away. You set a trap. Uh, we, uh, You're not gonna get a test for it, but you yeah. set a trap. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. Would my character let him do that? Nah, I wouldn't be watching James. We're worried about the right. Well, actually, they would like, like, say it would shut, like it would pull up like a rope net or something. So someone a would, rope net? Yeah, like somebody's like, why is that? To do that, yeah. you would have to get everybody to give you their rope. Give me your rope. No. Nope. Why not? No. Because this is we're necessary. Call, role play, role play it out. Yeah. My best, Don't my just best. say give me your rope. No. Just give me my <laughs> fellow comrades. Could no. You please let me. No. Use your rope in order to make a trap. No. Why do you want to make a trap? Just in case someone gets some funny ideas. My or brethren are not the best to handle. And they if they show their fangs and claws. That's a grand idea. We will just put them down like the golem. I don't <laughs> want you to kill yeah, them. I was about to say, <laughs> look at what I just did. We're fine. I'll be the trap. I don't I'll stand by the door. Can I be the trap? I don't want to kill them. I want to talk to them and. Pretty much humiliate them by capturing them, and then they probably. I wouldn't. start pouring gold on my head, and I'm like, "Look, I'm camouflaged. I'm gonna go stand by the door <laughs> yeah, also, and be the trap." Like, you're like, no, look at me. I'm gonna curl up in the gold. From what from what you said, you're a little crazy. So I am a little crazy. So why wouldn't you give me your what? Do, why does that justify you not giving? In me case a rope? I want to hang myself. I'll give you a rope back. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> when you can hang yourself. No, I can't, you can't deal give, with this guy. I'm out of here. You can't give me my rope back. I can't give you your rope back. <laughs> no, he he throws it over there. there. Hold yeah, this. Hold this. Just take a shot down and give it back. This rope was given to me by friends. I, I pull out like your friend. And don't you want to give it to me because I am your friend? You're right, but still, look at all this gold. We're friends. No, look at all this gold. I'm okay. not giving you my rope. Why not? Because I don't have any. Does he not have rope? I don't. All right. That's I reach into my pack and I'm like, what are you? Now he's just lying to us. Falsehood? I'll roll no, on thanks. it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to test Panini. it. Panini. I'll roll falsehood on it. The only that. other thing you could do, James, is be like, I'm taking your rope. And then you have the power test. <laughs> okay. Pull squabbling about, and I pull out a rope. No, I know, but I, he said I need everyone's rope. Ah. Oh. And Brad, I think I could convince Brad, but Brad's character this is being a little crazy. Yeah, yeah that, that's cool. That's cool. Let's play this out. I kind of like this. Okay. So, no. I'll power test it. You're going to power test? Yes. You're going to power test me? Okay. Yes. 
Power test. You're See, right, I'm going to jump power over, and I'm going to give James no, a helping guy. I'm saying all I get is Holy power. shit. You have to test your power against his, and, and Shane has given James his helping die. Okay, so I can't fork anything on nope, this it's stuff. Right. It's just a power test to see who gets what they want. See if the orc can take your rope from I'm going to look at Brad and be like, what's happening? I don't know. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> right. Give me your goddamn rope. Why do you want your rope so bad? What's I don't power? know. What's your power? Uh, I think it's, it's five. Four. And I, I just roll these two more times. I give you a helping. You can beat that, James. I don't think I can. Almost the fate of I got two. <laughs> I just rolled four successes with two sixes. Fine. Damn it. <laughs> I fail. Okay, so <laughs> now the orc and I start running away. The from orc him. goes over to the elf and tries to grab his traveling gear bag, and the elf slaps the shit, open palms the <laughs> fuck out of the orc, just. Fucking <laughs> no! And then I'm gonna scream, "It's a trap!" And I'm gonna go dive in the entrance, right by the entrance. I'm gonna dive into the gold. <laughs> okay, so at this point, uh, Brett is like hiding, out. hiding in the gold my with his like feet sticking <laughs> out of the gold. James has failed his power test yep, to I get failed my power test. Me too. Now, and the the dwarf failed as well. I'm so. Gonna... I'm going to tell Mordor I saw nothing. <laughs> well, I get to mark a difficult power test. Yeah, yes you do. Yes you do. So you. that was a two on a four, so <laughs> you can mark a difficult power test as well. And I get a routine? Nope. Nothing. Defending, no defending man is nothing. Yeah, you, well, yeah, and, and you don't get you don't mark routine tests for stuff. Oh, that, that, that does suck. That sucks. <laughs> the only person I would have not It's not a routine anyway. I mean, like, your ob was a two, two. so it was a routine. So. Yeah. All right. I mean, I guess you. it's not the defending man doesn't get anything, it's but... It's just harder for me to It's game. harder. Yeah. It's a routine, so you wouldn't. So. Yeah, he would have had to get four, and you would have had the four to get. What I will let you do, James, if you are set on setting a trap, you have two pieces of rope. You have two pieces of rope, and you can roll your trap making. Tell me what kind of trap you want to make. Hand me the book. Damn. Oh, Damn yeah. it. If you're going to do this, I'm going to cartwheel back out of the gold and be like, I'm the trap, and then dive back in. That's fine. You can do that. You can be a trap also. I'm going to roll you again. <laughs> you're, I'm gonna the take your rope. you're the prim primary trap, and I don't think you're going to get me again. I'm going to take your rope, James. You're not going to take my rope. This is going to figure into the failure of the circle status, by the way. All right, James, what kind of you you're gonna do a man snare? <laughs> trap could actually cause everyone to fuck us up. And I'm sitting yeah, in the middle of this trap. Like James wants to do the trap. I'm, I'm holding them to it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And I'm gonna help. I'm like, good idea. Just in case someone tries to get. Wild. What, roll like, observation? Can I roll what I'm gonna do yeah. is find like some scrap, okay. some kind of scrap piece. And like hang it over the door and like attach the rope to it so you can like pull it out if no, somebody no. comes under. Better idea. The elf is now gonna say, put the rope on my ankle and pull me out of the gold. So I can stab <laughs> them while I'm upside down. Trap. <laughs> the trap will be the elf flying across the doorway with his knives out. And Just I'm telling you, if anybody, if anybody sets this trap, trap, I'm gonna be like, ooga booga, and then I'm gonna stab them. Okay. So that's, <laughs> that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Go back in the gold. I'm like putting gold in my pockets. What's your what's your trap? I'm buried in gold. My trap my trapper is um two. Yeah. And I'm going to use mending to fix the ropes so that I when I pull it it'll go off. Like it'll pull something like let's say uh what's it called uh, stud in the ground. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'll, I'll just say system. like you did before, mending, you know, about time. Mending, so we'll, just, we'll just say that. Okay, mending. And That's mending. a reverse slip. Don't embellish until the roll has been done. If you are successful, you can embellish. If not, you will not embellish. I will be the one to decide how he the If it works, right? That's what you're saying? You I will would, tell you that the yeah. trap is set, and we will see what happens. So say you embellish on successes, you embellish on failures. Right. Yeah. Well, it depends. It depends. That's the way it seems like you were saying. Yeah. Oh, you disguise this as a trap. Me? Yeah, you disguised it last Why time. Why right? don't you ask the rogue man? You helped me disguise the trap I last was, time. I did no such thing. I thought you did. Nope. <laughs> was that I, you? Uh, yeah, it wasn't. You're going to ask him for help after you just nope. tried to forcibly take nope. the shit from him? Well, nope. I'm going to murmur, and it's going to sound a little muffled because I'm throat deep in gold, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to murmur, but I could no. 
bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you could have helped me by giving me your damn book in the first place. Why didn't you do that? Uh, any, anyway, <laughs> anyway. All right, Shane is going to give you a helping die. Yeah, okay. So you get four. And I'm, I'm going to say... Hunting. This, this perhaps should last. Adventurers years from now who come seeking treasure should fall into this trap. I will help you with this uh, sturdy piece of wood and, like, carpentry help. Can't we just build a cart All right, instead so of building a trap? So we can it, would take, it would take a long time. All right. It would take like a week. <laughs> go ahead and roll, James. This is an odd four. Roll your no, my character would be uh, thinking that. Why are we building a trap? There's gold thinking. behind this. Thinking. That's when my character should honestly stand up and be like, all right, well, here's a pressure plate. That One, two. How was that? The, we were taking James's lead. I uh, use a what you call it. A fate? fate? Yeah. Okay, so mark one of your fate off. Shane, you did not help. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's a shitty piece of wood anyway. <laughs> I gave you bad intel. I gave you bad wood. I'm <laughs> Thank sorry. Thank God I finally got rid nope. of it. So. Please assess us. The board. trap yeah. is set. <laughs> the trap oh. is set at the doorway. It's not as pretty as you wanted it to be. You tried to do a drawstring where you can control when it goes off. It might work, it might not work. Mm. Uh, and I see it might work or it might not work. Oh, you gotta you gotta go with it now. You can't you can't change. No, I'm saying you said it might does it, you can't tell. I can't tell. Okay, you there you go. Tell. There you go. If you I can tell, tell, it might well, fail. Perception then. to see if I'm going to die. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a man trap. So. And even if you guys see if it, it wouldn't work properly, you could probably set it off, and it would take too long to build it again. All but, right, so yeah. I'm going to go against that. But that's meta game. That's I don't meta-game. know. Well, actually, I was thinking about it, but I won't do it now. <laughs> what, are you I was thinking about the cutting, cutting the fucking rope uh, that he just strung out. And be like, no, try. I'm hiding back in my gold. You can try. No, it's fine. I'm going to drop off because it was metagaming at that point because he said it before I did. It was. Yeah. But, okay, so. Yeah. I was thinking about that to begin with, though. The trap. Like, if you think about it, we kind of The trap the is place. set. You guys are just I'm sitting around waiting, and all of a sudden you hear, you hear footsteps coming down the hallway. And it sounds sounds like it's quite a few people. It's not one or two guys. It sounds like it's, it's quite a few more. All right, I start singing. You start Here singing. They come, my friends. I'm gonna sing with them. My brothers, cousins, uncles, but not my mother, not my aunts, not my daughter. Then, from the tunnel, you hear a voice that sounds familiar. It says, "What the hell is all of this noise? What the <laughs> hell is this racket? <laughs> is Can someone I- skinning a dwarf in here?" <laughs> so, as it's, it's what? If you need to be impressed, let me give you the real tune. <laughs> so the footsteps are coming closer and closer, and as you see some figures walking into the room, I'm the trap goes off. Uh, yeah, good job, James. And you hear somebody it sounds like they're being choked, basically. <laughs> my, oh my! What happened? And what happened? The trap goes off, but it misfunctions and hooks around the person's throat, and it is hanging them. Is it a dwarf? It is a dwarf. Oh. And he's so heavy that his toes are barely touching the ground. Uh, I'm really close to the I don't know, and I like run, but I'm too short. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really, really you, close you wanna, to this. You want a speed test? You want a speed test and see if you can get there? I also want to get to him and try to cut him down, but I'm just too short. Like I'm just, I'm gonna run. Yeah, and you're still, I, I would okay. like a speed test so, to shoot my bow to see if I can shoot the arrow. I'm gonna speed test. What, what else is happening? Huh? What else is happening, guys? So this guy's hanging. He's hanging and blocking the tunnel from everybody else from being in there. He can't talk. You just know it's a dwarf. The voice sounds familiar. That's it. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> Other than James is killing another person. Hey, I didn't set the trap. Oh, he can't see yes. that I did not set the trap? We all know you set the trap. Boy. No, I know. I didn't mean set it. I mean, like, try to make it. Like, can you? Do they you know it misfired? No, you uh, have that's metagaming, James. You, you have don't control know. of the rope. I was just wondering if they I, would know. I, 
I already told you. No, they they don't know. They don't know. Nobody knows. Okay. They just so, know that you set the trap and it fucked up and it's choking the fuck out of somebody. So as soon as that happened, I popped up and I'm like, that's why I didn't give you the rope. And I'm going to try to jump <laughs> up and grab the rope, yeah, pull him down, and cut the rope. Okay. Well, if you were going to do that. Nice. There you go. That, that'll be... That'll be an agility test. Agility test. Six. So we'll we'll do an agility test, but you're buried in the goal. So oh, I thought gonna, I jumped up like as no, all this you're happened. In, you're, in the goal still. you're still in the goal. And you are up to your throat in the goal, and only your legs are sticking out. So that's an ob three. Ob three. All right. Yeah. Dude, that is that. an ob three, and it's going to be. I'm using knives. Right? Since he's just standing there, I'll say. Start test. It'll be. You're not gonna be able to fork. You're not gonna be able no to fork. No fork. It's just though. agility. All right. Uh, well, it'll be it'll be a link test. First, we'll see if you can get to the door. So go ahead, go well, ahead and roll and see if you can pass the agility portion. I do want to see if I can. I, I see it misfire. Like I, I see it fuck up. Right. You got a three? Yeah. I'm, okay. What was it four for me to pass? It was uh. Two. It was off three. It was off, it was off three. three, so I passed. Yeah. All right. So you passed it. Now, here comes. Point where you must decide. Right. It will be faster for you to throw a knife and cut the rope. I'm gonna throw a persona in this, and I'm gonna say that there is a mound of gold that I not climb, but I can use to get up to where he is, slightly off the path. Maybe I'm gonna jump. That doesn't work like that. You can't spend a persona like that. The only thing you do is lobby for an advantage die. I don't know what that means, but all right. That means you can be like, look, I'm on top of the gold. I have a clear line of sight, so I should get a plus one D on this threat. Okay. Um, well, it was a link test, right, you said? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you're right. You're right. How much did he succeed by? Uh, nothing. Nothing. He just, just met it. Oh, so you don't get a bonus. You don't get a bonus die for the link test. Okay. You have to claim some other advantage. All right, so. That's why I use Persona there. That doesn't work like that? No. No. no persona, if you spin a Persona, you can always add one D. You don't have to claim any. That's regardless of any other advantages. Right. Persona gives you plus one. That's it. Or will to live. I want to use this for his will to live. Will to live? What's will to live? Uh, does it, no, you can't yeah, do well, it. Yeah. Okay, that's for you. He has to have a persona to spend on will to live. Okay, he does. All right. Yeah. I want to make him fight harder. Look, do a little kicking, see if he can get to the ground. He spins a fate to shrug and... it off. I have, like, run to this guy's feet, and I'm jumping up, like, now, trying now to... Now, Brent still has to do the rest of his test. He's got to test his power to see if he can pull the rope down far enough that the dwarf's feet will be flat on the ground. And what's my ob on that? Your ob on that, I'll just say it is a two. All right, I'm going to use a persona and say that because I was right and James was wrong, I got a little bit extra power right now. All right, mark off your persona. Stupid work. Stupid work. James, look what you got. Then. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm dragging you out so much. And my job is to protect you. And that's all I'm doing right now. All right, so two persona left. And I'm rolling four. One, two. Oh, I'm busting a fate. Pretty boring otherwise. Fate. Yes, sir. Four successes. All right. We're about to create an international incident here. Uh, so you got four successes. So grab the dwarf. Because the trap wasn't made so well, it's not that difficult. You just grab it one hand and you just pull it down. You just pull that shit down the door. Damn, I used that for one D. He's standing flat-footed on the ground, and now the only thing that is uh, hurting him is he is still being choked by the rope. It's still tight around his neck. So I'm going to use my knife to cut him free where I just uh, grabbed it down at from his stomach up. Ooh. I wouldn't think it would be a knife test. Would you, Shane? Would you just say that we could just say that it? That's a difficult. That's a weird thing to test. What would you say? Well, wait, what's he trying to do? He's trying to just cut the rope. Yeah, cut the rope from around the door. He's flat-footed. Bam, and you've done it. You just go like, bam, you've done it. What do you do next? Yeah. Okay, so you've done. Because you know Green Wheel is like trying to move us through through the point. narrative quickly. You know what I mean? Right, right. So, bam. I highly doubt You're done. It. You passed. All so you passed your test. So, what did I hit on my agility for that? Uh, your agility. Was it just a routine? Is. What was it? A three. It was a three, and how many did you roll? Six. Yeah, that was a routine. All right, now I'm so, on power. I had dwarf, to spend a fate, and yep. I rolled four. Yep. And I had to get three. You had to get I a spent two. A persona, it was a two. I, I spent a persona and a fate to get the four. Yeah. 
So with he spent a being, when he didn't even need it. Though. I know. Being that I you went so far over, you can use the patient. The advantage one. was just saying that you got the rope off his neck. You don't have to do any more tests. So right. Bam! You got the two successes. You were able to just slip the rope off the dwarf's neck. So now the dwarf is sitting there and just kind of coughing, rubbing his neck, and he's muttering dwarven curses, you know, kind of out loud. What do you do? I say, oh, my God, good thing no, we man. avoided that trap. I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder and ask him to calm down. I'm my trying to avoid it. friend here, he, he made Why a mistake. Why would you tell the truth? Why would what I tell the truth? truth? They, they know if one of us made it, James. How would they know and that? that was very deep. Like, the dwarf really? Let me roll roars. my whole thing there, Hamer. The dwarf roars. Uh, no, I'm just wondering. I'm not metagaming. Why are you wondering? Wonder to yourself. The dwarf says, Orc! How do you know? Where is this orc? <laughs> Where is this orc? Where is this orc that set this trap? I'm going to put my steel in orc, his back. Right? I'm going to put my steel in his back and ask him to please calm down and stay. It. As soon as he says, You're, you're going to try and put a knife to him? I'm going to put a knife to him. You're going to put a knife to him. I have to at this point. Nice. Nice. No, I'm going to ask All him right. to calm down. This is going to be a combat. You pull the knife on this dwarf. Then I'm going to run. He's just being kidding. Nope. You you either pull a knife All right, then. or you run. All right, so one of the two. Well, I'm going to – I asked him calmly to do something, and he just turned his back to me and ignored me? Is that what you're telling me? He's enraged. He is to the point where he was being killed, and he asked – who was this orc? You said orc, which sent him into a fury. Yeah. Dwarfs. I didn't hate orcs. So at this point, technically, he is I didn't in know blind so. rage. I didn't know that about all dwarfs hating. He, he didn't know I said the trap. I didn't he know. Would, he he would, I would not have known that. You don't know so, that. Go ahead. How would you know? You're gonna try. Are you gonna try to fight him? I'm gonna try to subdue him. I'm gonna try to hold him back. How would you know that? I'm still talking to him politely and calmly at this point in time. I'm you still trying to say that's fine. Right. You don't have any luck. So have you not? Have you not pulled your knife? I have not unsheathed. He doesn't have. What do we use? Okay. Yeah. To not he's a not knows as long as it's one or the other. Well, well you know he's a merchant type. Well, okay. I set up on my knife. I pull my knife. I set up on my knife. What are you trying to? What are you trying no, to I was saying. Brad saying I wouldn't be able to lie to him and say it wasn't me who even set the trap. Hey, you, you can try. Out. You can roll an unskilled falsehood. Well, now that I know that he completely hates orcs, and, and I would have never said that as a dwarf, even though I already said it and I already pulled my knife, that's the way we're playing. Okay. I didn't know that. All right, well. Well, well here's the thing. Brent, you, you get to choose what you want to do. Like, you could say, I pulled my knife, or you can say, I talked to him calmly. But it's got to be one of the, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be one or the other. Well, see, the thing is, like, I didn't know that all dwarves hate orcs to begin with. I would have never, I would have never endangered my friend. Role yeah. playing would have never endangered my friend like that, knowing we, that all. I'll, I'll let you know in the beginning that everybody dislikes orcs. I got nobody you. Nobody likes. You, you did tell me that, and I forgot it. So I role played so it this way. Nobody likes orcs. So this is the end of Twinkles. I mean, I like it. I like pulling a knife on the dwarf. I think it's a good. It's an intense moment, but it's up to you. I have to. You have an ob four to hit with your knife. All, all right, right. So I'm gonna use my knives, obviously. Well, I didn't even factor in any of his forks. Shane, what, uh... Let me see your forks. So you're, you're actually going to stamp them. Oh, what are you doing? What are you trying to do, Uh, I am going to look at your stats real yes. quick. Look at your sheet. You don't understand how... Oh, what do you want to know? Uh, I'm just going to look at your know. skills. They're stronger than you are. Oh, okay. Yeah, go for it. I don't know how strong or not, so... You have, what, a five power? You're pretty strong. Brad has a five power. Yeah, three is average. I got, I got a four power. I got. I have no combat skills except for the hammer. Oh man, this is a turn for the worst. Yeah, my companions. Why didn't I want to give you the rope? That's why. That's me. Look, look. I was gonna be smart about this and just lie about it. You can't lie. Do you have falsehood? Oh my god, you can't <laughs> lie on train. Why are you saying that? Because you're at an op two <laughs> against somebody who already knows that you're lying and hates you. So you don't know I'm lying. <laughs> James, your character, who is good at laying traps, you know that you can't lie. Why would you lie to 15 people in their face and be like, oh, none of us said that off in the small little hallway? None of us accidentally set that off. This is all. We really obviously lying. didn't put there. Don't ask that dwarf where his rope is or mine. And. This doesn't have the layout of orc style traps. This at is all. actually all my at fault. All. Yeah. I was the player. <laughs> human traps. Listen. 
<laughs> all my fault. And if I would have played it 100%, my guy would have actually stood up and said, I set the trap, and then I freed him. That's how it would have actually played out role-playing, but I forgot that everybody hates you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. And I make bad traps. I'm Just sorry. think of it this way. In Burning Wheel, you're fucked either way. So, oh, I, so you know, it's like well, we failed that. The option was me telling this dwarf face-to-face -face that I set the trap. Yeah, that's true. Well, we can roll with it. I like it. I like it. Well, what did you do if we killed one of your brethren? Well, was like six. I looked to my beliefs for guidance. Why I'm, I'm not even rolling. I'm actually tight. And I will tell you, uh, yeah, I will tell you it. after this, so after this resolves. All right, All right well, what, what? Well, it's a challenge. You just mark a challenge. Knives, you don't want to roll. knives, and then I got uh, stealth, and because I'm behind him. And he knows you're there. You've got your handle there. Yeah, yeah, but he's enraged, he so he's actually blind and raged. You can't on that. You are touching him. He knows oh, where you are. Come on now. I'm behind him. He does not know I'm pulling my knife. It's still, he does not know I'm pulling my knife. Yeah, you that's said you put a steel in his back. That means I could poke him at a glance with my stealth. Do you want to do that? All right. I, mean, I rolled four what? successes, bust, and faith. I rolled oh, that six. Oh, fucking seven. Yay. Ah! You roll the seven. Okay, so. You did a seven to stab the door? Did. You spin your Damn. Door. Mark your face. That's exciting. <laughs> the dwarf reaches on his belt and pulls out a hammer. And it is a huge hammer. Bigger than the When gun. I say hammer, I mean a fucking hammer among hammers. He's one hand in the fuck out of this shit. And he turns around and slams it right at you. Okay, and, and you dodge it. You we, fucking we, dip out of the way, and you're there with your sword at his throat while he's standing there. Okay. Buddy, I know that this is a hard situation, and I told you that it was an orc to do this. We are all friends here. I am friends with this orc. The reason I saved you is because he tried to set a shitty mistake trap, and you got caught in it. I was hiding by the door to try and help whoever got caught in this shit trap. Please. Please. What is your name again? Chain, I forgot. Bardor. Bardor. Bardor, please help me explain to this man that all we want is to get all of this treasure out of here, and with his help. What is your name, Dwarf? I'm not sure I've seen you before. I'm like talking to the guy. Who is that? It is I, Bardor. Bardor of the city. Bardor. <sighs> I hate your father. <laughs> and then just swings it to Renegade. Bardor, since when Son of the great architect. such company? They are good company, true and strong. They have proven themselves as excellent companions. I assure you that he was acting in your best interest. If you would calm down... It is in my best interest to be hung by a noose, then have a knife thrust into my back and to my neck. This is how you would treat your own father? <laughs> oh, father? Is that you? I did, yes, it is me. I did no thrusting, by the way, my elf. Well, father. I will have you know, father, that the son has now vested the master. Any smart dwarf worth his salt would have noticed the trap on his walk-in. You're a complete idiot. So I am an idiot for caring for my son and trying to help him, even though he's on a fool's errand. Is there any way that I can I bring help, help for you, and you call me a fool? I didn't ask you to get involved in this. I called for help on my own terms. That is fine, then. The dwarf turns around, signals at everybody, says, all right. Let's pack it up and go back. Before and they all start marching back down the hallway. And all while they're oh, talking, about it. talking uh, like ever. Just try. Why are you talking to Jesus? This hammer, father. Because I've already tried like seven times talking to anybody. To but hell with your hammer, son. I am a fool. I know nothing of treasure or family heirlooms. Uh, what do you want to do? Shame. Well, it's a shame that you would yeah. shuffle aside your own father's great hammer. It was not my father's, it was my great-grandfather's. You know I care nothing for that man. I 
<sighs> Father. Lord Ramadan of Virginia. I will tell you. I'm tired of playing for your sympathies, playing for your approval. I renounce you as my own father. I renounce my oath to build my own workshop. I <laughs> renounce my oath as your son. To hell with you, to hell with all the dwarves. So be it. Oh, says the elf. As the dwarf says, so be it, he signals to his crew. He signals to the orc shaman, who just so happened to be the shaman who cursed Zwei, and signals for them to walk out of the cave. And as he turns, his three other dwarf companions lift their hammers in the cave in the tunnel. Well, I would go. Through the rock you hear, to hell with you, to hell with your gold, I hope you choke on it. Mm. See how well the gold feeds the soul. And he leaves. That dwarf had a low grief. Hey now, so those two dudes doing that, there was no humans, no elves that would have seen this and been like, whoa now, dwarfs. <laughs> um, you guys... In, in reviewing that conversation, you guys could have jumped in at any time. But I like the result, and I'm willing to ride with it. If you guys want to jump in and start saying stuff now while they're caving in... The, I want to I I wow, ask one question, though. Why would the orc shaman listen to the dwarf? Though? Yeah. Why is, Why the, is the orc even there? there? Yeah, I would, I would be like, <laughs> see, if you hadn't have failed your role, you might have found out. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know, James. Okay. Um, the dice are fucking. Mm, can I use a speed? Can I use what is it? Speed uh, to interrupt somebody's thingy or do something before somebody else? Nice. You wouldn't have to speed. You could just interrupt. What did I get on my knives? Yeah, just do what you want to do. Huh? What did I get on my knives? What do you mean? I rolled my knives on an off-four. Uh, four. that was four against four. I'm going to say that was a difficult. It was an odd six, and you hit a seven. So it's either difficult or challenging. It was one of the two. I was going to say, I rolled four and busted a fate to get the seven. That's what I meant to say. My bad. I rolled three sixes there. It was awesome. I'm not. Does fate, all, does fate change? Does that determine the level of the test? Uh, no. Okay, so that was a challenging test. Sweet. Yeah, you can spend Arda, and it doesn't determine the level. That's Maybe we should have let his priority choke down. Well, that's I think the should be a little better. You don't know. You it's Red's ball. Say, don't say that to me. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, just, saying, I'm just saying that in It general. is actually my fault. It was probably the orc's fault. No, it's actually yeah, it my, fault. my fault. It's probably the orc trap man's fault. Actually, it, it, it technically It's probably wrong. a little bit of everybody's fault. I was going to say, 100% my fault that that whole education just happened. I'm not going to let them change. If I see them raising their hammers to hit the doorway, I'm not going to let them do it. Nice. Do so you want to take a shot? You want to take an arrow I won't, shot? I will shoot at one. I will not just. I won't shoot at his father, but I will shoot at the other guys because I'm not letting them cave in this place. It took a lot to get here. We got a lot to do. Yeah. My people are out there, and if I see if I see an orc shaman, and I know that it should be able to help his wolf. Which I told him I would try and do. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call out to his father and say, do not try to harm everybody else in here for your own selfish actions. Yeah. Do not try to get this human who is well known in the human district killed on your own accord. Are you going to go for murder now? You have your companions to thank. You have your great hero and friend, the dwarf, to thank for this. And how has he wronged you by trying to please you? He has disowned me as a father. But why? I serve no purpose to help anyone who is not family. You turned your back on him. I did no such thing. Technically, you didn't. He didn't turn his back. You're turning your back now by shutting us in here. Yeah. I shut in strangers, not family. I'm not a stranger. I saved your Good life. Man. You owe me something. You pulled a knife on me. I pulled a knife on you because you attacked my comrades Lord in Trump. rage. I attacked no one. You pulled out a hammer and started moving. I did nothing but defend. As you pressed the knife to my back, I to defend. My I did not thrust the knife inward. You pull a knife on someone to defend who is there, unarmed, with hands not on weapons. That is a funny way of saying defense. That is a funny way 
to try to help people. You raised this could have been solved with words, Roger. but you decided to use words to cut and to try to hurt me. Roger, you do not know me, sir. I am slightly insane. Hence the feet sticking out of the gold when you walked in. Me freeing you from this thing, not knowing who you actually were. My only goal here was to make all of us become comrades. Now that you want to betray us, we say fuck unto thee. Uh, say fuck unto thee. You shall have it. And it caves in God forward. damn it, I'm not letting them do no, that. I'm, I'm rushing, to, I'm rushing to get out of the cave. I'm let, them, let, them cave let them cave in the tunnel. We'll find our own way out. It's, I, it, it was being caved in as all this is going. As we were talking, uh, they are swinging the hammer not, let, as wanna, you were flying, swinging I'm insults. I would not, not let them do that. All right, fire the arrows. Fire the arrows, man. Yes. Let's do it right now. There's no way. I'm going to charge him with my hammer and start picking off guys in the tunnel. I'll shoot him right in the hand if I have to. I'm going to just Mary, do that. You're, you're, not, you're, not gonna be able to make it. you're not going to be able to make it into the tunnel. It's already being, it's caving in. If you go into the tunnel, I will say this, a failure will be being crushed by rocks. It will mean certain death for your character. Okay, now that we know that I'll play the game. Does, this, does it there. seem plausible that we can shoot them in order? You can shoot, and you might James, be able to James, he just told you there's no three. way for us to get past that. I'm just going to shoot them. They did the wrong thing. Huh? Right. I don't want to fish for a response here. I'm trying to think. Well, I'm not going We're fighting 20 people. We're not fighting. The, he said the area's came All right. So they couldn't get back to us even if they wanted to. And do if it. they did want to, do us, it, James. I don't know what he's got brewing in his mind. Neither do you. I'm not a no. You're there. Shoot an arrow. Shoot an arrow if you want to. I'm shooting arrow. Um. Yeah. Okay. Hunting. There's one detail that we missed in the conversation. What? If I can throw this in. All right. I just want to shout. Uh, I'm trying to think how to say this. Uh, we have unleashed the great evil. He who is blind but drinks the blood of the master. We shall fight him alone. All of a sudden, the pinging of hammers against the rock wall stops. And it is completely silent. I take ownership of the crime of his release. That um, that whole champion wise that I rolled earlier, I want to spew all that you just told me out to them and let them know what just happened. All right. I'm gonna go back in my gold. Yep. Now we're gonna die. Bardor's father, you hear him kind of huff on the other side of the rubble. He says, "I've heard of this great evil that you speak of." And it brings me great shame to know that someone who was once family would unleash such a horror upon the land. But as dwarves, as a proud people, we are honor bound to try and save everyone from this destruction. So Even if that means putting aside these petty differences. Petty? My guy said that mumbled on the... On the right. and I'm going to start crying. <laughs> You're going to start crying? Yeah. That's legit to me. Alright. I'm going to go walk over and console our dwarf here. I will console him too. So I close to say. I, my dude's on edge. I'm, I'm on fucking edge. I'm still on edge, but I'm consoling the person that matters to me. I want to ask the dwarf, does he know about the things that this man can summon? And I drop to my knees and say, I have done wrong. I just put my hand on Shane's shoulder. (laughs) So you're you're basically wailing is what you're doing. I I am wailing in deep apology for my crime. And my crazy ass says, good job, daddy, and skips off. How do you blame me for releasing such evil elf? I don't blame you for any of that. I blame you for the... Then search. shut your mouth. Roger that. <laughs> I skip off again, saying the exact same thing because I'm a little crazy. Nice. <laughs> so you hear the pinging of hammers pick back up again. Well, this time it sounds a little bit closer and you start to see the rubble crumble. Uh-huh. 
So you'll see a dwarf being consoled by an orc. They after about thirty minutes, they they finally clear the way and the party enters the room. All right. As they enter the room, you see that it's not quite the crew that you would hope for. All right. There are three dwarfs, four orcs, and four humans. Hello. And as the humans come in, they kind of look around and they notice and they see Zig sitting on top of the giant rock monster's body. And they just kind of nod to Zig like uh, like they might know him somehow. Okay. And he just winks at him. He just keeps sitting there. He doesn't say a word. All right. Hmm. Well, I guess we better get the stuff moving. So that's it. All right. What do you want to do? Balls in your court. Why are there no elves here? I helped on my roll. You did. You helped on your own. But I'm going to oh. offer my hammer to my father as an apology. <coughs> the hammer that I found. And ask him how I can serve out my penance. Your father takes the hammer. And he looks at it, and he kind of marvels at it. And as he holds it, he feels the power, feels the power of the hammer. And he picks it up, and he walks over to the rock monster and cracks it right on the chest and splits it in two. Just fucking cracks that bitch right in two. I giggle aloud and say, good job, Daddy. <laughs> good job, Daddy. And... What he does, after he does that, he just kind of is admiring the craftsmanship, and he turns back to you and hands the hammer back. Handle first. My eyes just got huge. All right, I accept it. And he says to you, he says, Bardor, I apologize. I apologize for being brash and acting in anger. Come on, I got to hear this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, every, a, everybody can hear. Okay, I'm a little crazy. I'm going to walk up to his father now, and I'm going to say, I acted almost as you did. I acted too brash. I apologize. That knife was the only thing I could think of in that split second. I apologize. The dwarf just... Looks at you and he just nods. I had a companion. He nods and understands. I had a companion. That's it. He just nods and understands. Well, he says, "Son, I guess I should apologize for this kid." I, I will help you. I didn't try to make my relationship better. Any father would be proud of a son who would go to such lengths to find his heritage and to prove his worth. I, I, I would be honored if you would call yourself my son once again. I'm I just like blubbering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy! Damn it. <laughs> I really wish I had a song. You can sing, right? I My skills, can I learn? I can learn the skill. What you is have to, you'd have to find somebody to teach you. That, the thing. songs and stuff? Because the songs are like spells. Well, so I have to get somebody to yeah, teach so You'd have okay. to have somebody who knows That's what I'm saying. I can't is just he, like Song of Rejoice or whatever it is. Is he a champion of like the, the dwarves? Who? The, his father. Uh, his father? His father is very well known. He's right. like... Well, I want to approach him while he's saying all that stuff to him and just to try to make his dad feel a little bit better, I'm going to let him know that it was your son who brought this monster down on t and made it hit the ground. With one mighty swing, he made it fall and fall on down. Uh, blah, 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 so on so forth. So as you say that, <laughs> Bardor's father walks over to the rock beast and he's kind of inspecting it. 
And he is looking at the shattered leg, and he, you know, is, is just kind of doing his, his stonework thing. He's he's saying, and he, he points at it. He's like, ah, he has his father's eye. That is the fault line. <laughs> Any fool, anyone who is not a fool would know to strike such a mark with great pressure, and it would fell the beast. Nice. I would have lightened this mood up with a dance throwing bow <laughs> if possible. Can I do this? This hey, you is... can dance. It won't be a test. You can okay. That's what I say. I'm gonna start dancing randomly then and just throwing gold, trying to lighten up the mood. As Brent's character is doing this, the dwarf, uh, Bardor's father, leans in to Bardor and says, "You keep strange company, my son." <laughs> <laughs> I don't play that faggot shit, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play our faggot shit, boy. <laughs> Uh, all right, so... My one question is, where is this orc who set such a trap? He, oh, raise my hand. he disappeared. No, I just raised my hand. It's my fault. So the dwarf, a trap. the dwarf walks over to the orc. He's looking him right in the eye. He's trying to look at him right in the eye. His head's probably about chest height to the orc. He's kind of bowed out, puffed up, like looking at the orc. Well, so, I bow my head to him because I know I did something. Okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna stay out of arm's length, but I'm still gonna let him know that I'm there to protect my companion. My companion. No weapons. No. Yeah, I'm staying out of arm's length. Everything, giving him the space. That is a mighty fine trap, you said, Orc. It probably would have worked as intended if it wasn't snared on someone with a stature such as mine. <laughs> you get this one, but I promise. <laughs> if you hurt me again, the consequences will be dire. <laughs> if he hurts you again, kill him. Uh, I'll leave broken. Give him that humor fate point right there. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Uh, what? Humor fate point? It was funny. Yeah. Nice. Your, your dude just got a, That dude just got Yeah, yeah Bardur's father. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hopefully he bestows it onto uh, Shane. So, my okay. son, what are we to do here? It's a very tough question. That was a money uh, opportunity for my guy. <laughs> uh, we have with us companions who are worth more than their salt. Uh, allow us to convene for a moment, and we will devise a plan. Hopefully to your standards. <laughs> Take your time. And as you guys are talking, he's over at the golem. Like, you can tell that he's all about gems and rings. He's, like, prying the eyes out of the golem. Damn, he's, like, those. Damn searching it. through the rubble of the chest, and he finds a gem, which is basically the monster's heart, inside the chest. And he's, nice. you know, just fishing all that out. Nice. I was going to scare Well, we're not going to get a cut of that. Can yeah. I... Put as much gold as I can carry in my pockets, real quick. <laughs> and uh, a little cash. I was gonna say we all should do that. And like crust my boots in gold. Like, can we handle that really quickly? Uh, well, they brought cards. Okay, so they're gonna take care of everything. Right. I might need to haggle with them for our share. Uh, we'll we'll handle that later. Well, uh, my next, next question to you is, Jor, do are we gonna go back and get her? Do you want us? to try and get them to help us get our cart back. Your cart's gone. Our cart is gone. Your okay. cart was stripped down in the ghetto by the goblins. It's on center blocks. Yeah, it's gone. It's just no axles. Horses. Axles are there. <laughs> no the horses. mule is still with you guys in the front, in, at the front of the okay, cab. Okay, okay. Oh, right. I forgot we took the mule with us. Um, Course of action here, guys. We obviously need to... So, <laughs> pretty much we're going to have to get a caravan in order to bring all this gold, right? We already have caravan. Well, I mean, we're going to have to set up a caravan. Like, we're going to have to escort it and protect it until we get yeah, back to the city. Yeah, that's a given. Yeah, but then... We have else? to get back to the city anyways. So yeah, but they, what else do we have to talk about besides that? Uh, we need to talk to him about the severity of this orc. We need to get Zvi fixed. And now that we've restored Dude Man's on, uh, Bardor's honor, it's where he wants to go with what he needs to do. With his shop, if he still wants to build. You guys it. okay with me splitting up and riding with the caravan and making sure that they avoid trouble? Because I know these woods like the back of my hand. We might all be going at the same time. Sure. Saying if we're gonna meet up, maybe back in town to find a cleric. Are you guys okay with that? No, the shaman's here. I go talk to the orcs and uh, <coughs> see what's up with them. Actually, uh, can I give the elf a mission? 
Uh, SLB. You can give him a mission if you want. Uh, all right. Yes. So remember those goblins that were all over my cart? Yeah. Yep. They're... Well, uh, I don't really like them. You know, I was so focused on getting to the treasure, I just figured we'll use my cart as a trap. I meant to say... Those were the goblins. Those were three of the goblins. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Never mind. Right, so I'll look at them because I, I guess I might know that. You might be able to rummage through their bodies and find a piece of your cart there. Yeah. yeah an emblem or something. On your I was going to say, like, do we have a whip among us? And if we did, I was going to give the elf a whip and go chase down those goblins and do <laughs> service. Um, but that's out the window. Okay. Because that would give you a chance to go to your cache. Well, only one goblin yeah. survived. They left the other one in the trap, and he's probably dead by now. <laughs> uh, the three came through the roof, and well, the one was right in the horse. So we've established that I don't know these goblins. They're not common to this part at all, right? Yeah, they're just goblins. They're just yeah. like feral goblins. Just running around. Yep, just Doing running around. Thing. All right. Okay. Uh, well, the most important thing here, I mean, that's going to take care of the caravan. Uh, the most important thing here is to figure out what we're going to do about this uh, this uh, great evil that we have unleashed on all the land. I, I think that's a uh, priority. Uh, is it not priority to, to yeah. help out our companions so that we're fully strong to take on this guy? Mm -hmm. yeah, so we all we all join each other. And the wolf's, the wolf's going to die if we don't get him aid. Turning the stone is not necessarily dying, but... I, I don't know that. I don't know that either. Yeah, you don't know that, James. I'm not saying... All I know is that no, reaches his head or heart. I don't even know what that is. Your character doesn't, doesn't know, know that. It's magic. Your character's like, like... It's like a magic sickness. Your character's yeah, like... Yeah, I'm thinking, like... I would think, like, as... I'm just saying, my... I would think if I saw something turn the stone, I'd be like... You can argue that. You can argue yeah, that. I, mean, like, it, I, like, I would say that. Like, it's, it might... Just like making a trap was a good idea. Oh, I will shit. leave, <laughs> leave the, in, in the matter of the dwarf. It all side. worked out in the end. Bam. All right. Well, I've seen it all worked out in the end. It sure did. It did. <laughs> it sure did. Good, good job you're... you helped us make it work out. Yeah, the end. It good thing James' beliefs are protect my friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Here's, here's, here's what, what I'm going to go at. I've seen a strong bond between this, this noble and his wolf. We're going to lose this companion if this wolf gets any sicker. I know that. That's why I wanted to go try and talk to the shaman. The wolf's back <laughs> legs are stoned by now. Oh, yeah, we have a shaman. We have a shaman in this room, don't we? We need to fix this right now, then. That's what I'm getting at. So, James, uh, where are you the shaman? I don't know yet. Go for it, man. You're an orc. You speak I want to talk word. to the dwarf that was traveling with the, the shaman. Sure. While James is talking to the shaman. Somebody, you want to talk to Bardor's father? Yeah. Okay. So, who wants to go first? Mm, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, first off, we'll start by, um, uh, I don't know what we'll do in that culture. Will we bow or something? Match me up in two seconds. You're, yeah, you're I'm yours. Gonna, I'm going to smoke because I'm like out of this. I'm going to catch up in a second. All right. Well, <laughs> let's, 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 let's take a break real quick. Take a break real quick? Take a quick little break. Probably going to bow anyway. Practice and edit it. I may have to drop out in a little bit, um, but I can continue for this little bit. Okay, well, let's just do this until what time yeah, you have to drop out. Do this. Oh, I don't know. That's the thing. I, like, uh, probably about 20 minutes. 2 o'clock. You want to call it at 2? Can we call it at 2? For me. Let's do, we'll do a two-minute break real quick. All right. Was it my phone? No. I thought it was funny. I feel like everything's gonna work out, and now my wolf's gonna die. <laughs> you know, I've done nothing wrong this entire adventure except for help people. I feel like my wolf is gonna die. You think you are, you're saying that like I did something wrong on purpose? It was just bad decisions led on bad decisions that was saved because of one miraculous word. That's it. How some things work out. No. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get in. The, uh, I got to get in good with Shane's father within split moments before this orc shaman realizes that I have an orc great wolf and he's gonna try to take it back with a whip. Because I know that's gonna happen. 
Oh, look, I have them. They're my companion. My companion. I'll kill your wolf before that happens. So what happens is it's going to be a steel hesitation check. And that's going to be the first test I'm probably going to have to make. I'm probably going to fail that. I'm probably going to fail mine too, but I'll try my best. I'm not going to let him take your wolf. It's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm not going to let him take my wolf. I'll kill every single orc in this room. Don't kill me. I will I will kill every single orc. I'll I have probably to. kill you before you <laughs> kill me. Every single orc if I have to. Whatever, Brad. It's like if you sided with him. If you didn't, I will kill every single orc besides you. Try not to kill every single orc, because you're just being racist. Nope. If you came at my wolf with a whip, nope. Maybe not. I'll kill him and look at the other orcs and say, who? who's next? Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. We didn't like that guy anyway. Because I have no idea what's happening to him. He can't even what, move. I know because I'm... I have no idea. Yeah, whatever, don't really you don't have it work wise. Oh, that's true. That's right. We're gonna have to identify the sickness and then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know it's complicated. Good job, Shane. The shaman, the shaman might be able to help us. I'm. He wouldn't. I don't think an orc, out of all their beliefs and out of everything they know, pride. Yes, it's big. But would a shaman, orc shaman, with like two or three other orcs, try to take out a well-known dwarf man and all his subordinates, dudes that just killed this entire rock monster type thing, the dead golems on the ground? Would he really try to take my wolf when there's this much gold around? When he could just haggle? Uh. Probably not. If they're going to go and take your wolf, they would probably just try to take everything. I might just be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who in their right mind would try to take on this right, many It's okay. I don't think they're going to try. Yeah, try to convince them to back down. Yeah, I would intimidate them. I have intimidate. Yeah. The thing is, you got to... It's hard to start an argument with somebody. Like, It's hard to get a versus test. Because if you try to intimidate, you're testing against their will. Raw, like they don't have to roll it. Oh, that's fucked up. Only got two intimidate. Ain't no way. Burning wheel, like wants you to work for the argument. It's really hard to do. It wants you to kind of be like, there's got to be some kind of stick, <laughs> something like, to get them to try to roll their persuasion. You know, like in an argument, like maybe they want you to join their side, but. You want them to back down, and then it's a versus test. Oh, uh, yeah. It'd be like, if you win this argument, I will join your side. Or if I, I win... Uh, my dude's really not going to ask for gold from your character. He already made it clear what he wanted. He wanted to become well-known in the Dwarven District and respected. I just need... I, I really need a cloak. Like, it, I get a, I get a, uh, what's your cup? Yeah, because I get, like, if I'm in a sun, like, direct sunlight, I get, you like, take a, a minus, minus two on all your rolls. Yeah. Dang it. But in the dark, you get what? So it's let's take this, this steel. let's take this argument outside with the orc shaman. Anyway. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> that is actually kind of weird. You could. No, I don't want, that's too far. Yeah, that's, that's too, far. too far to walk, and I did. That's, that's brilliant, but I'm not willing to tempt it. My dude's just going to sit there and be like, okay. But in, in, in anyway. Unless the word goes outside. Okay, so even though it's uncommon, I'm going to bow to the show when I get up to her. It might seem weird that I'm, a, I'm being a little civilized, saying that's kind of... The not, shaman just kind of, she kind of turns her head and just kind of looks at you like... What the hell is this just, ah, I don't even try to explain it. But anyway. Just punch your mouth, take a tooth, and hand it to her. But, um... Currency. <laughs> would you mind, um... <coughs> looking at, uh, my friend's wolf. It seems to be having some trouble. Hmm. A wolf, you say? What kind of wolf? I she would see it. Yes, she would see it. Great wolf. 
No, she's still in the back. She's still uh, in the back. She's minutes. still in the back, like near the tunnel, and every, everybody minutes. else is there. A great wolf is a great wolf, right? Yeah, a great wolf. A great wolf. Mm-hmm. It's an orc great wolf. Orc great wolf. Ah, an orc great wolf. Uh, what is wrong? What is wrong with this wolf? It seems its tail and legs are turning to stone after we fought this giant rock monster. Hmm. Bow, 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 turning bow, to bow, stone. Bow, 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 bow. I seem to remember. A veggie tail song. A <laughs> orc wolf that I gave a very similar plight to. What the fuck are the odds? Ah. Yeah. Is, but... is there any way you would be able to take this plight off of him? Perhaps. There's a price. There's always a price. Which is? I'm bend over and spread my butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> She, she takes her staff walk. and shoves it into your butt and pushes you over. It says, no, good. And you, fall, no. and you fall face uh, on the ground. I would never do that. Nope, you did it. No, <laughs> you did, you said that. it. You did it. I you were face first on the ground. Shana, I, I mean, I wanted to make you laugh, Ace. Uh, you did it. I'm sorry. I you said it. <laughs> you are laying face first on the ground with a staff <laughs> up your butt. I that can really control myself. And I, will, I will roll that may have been what her price. That may have been her price. <laughs> what was that? Your price? No, no. No. Anyway. <laughs> that, was, that was not my price. Seriously. <laughs> seriously. But seriously. Seriously. Uh, what I asked her, what, what price would you, what would you need in order to, um, <coughs> for you to fix this wolf? She says, I will take stock in the situation and I will decide here shortly. And as she does that, she walks on top of you as you are laying on the ground and walks, <laughs> and walks over to the wolf. Right, I would be asking you questions while I'm laying on the ground. I would hey, get you up did and pull it. the staff out of my butt. <laughs> okay. You did it. Okay, I'm obligated here to stand up hey, I am and like walk over club, to huh? this to this shaman, and we got to have a little conversation now, me and the shaman. But you can do his first, because he was in line before me and Paul goes <laughs> You don't speak orc. I don't speak orc. Nope. Nope, that's right. I thought I could understand it. You think it's part of our custom. Nice. Vile language. Yeah. They're speaking vile language. Okay, yeah. then, my yeah, ass, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then my ass is just rolling around on the ground laughing. <laughs> Look, it. If I can't understand what they're saying, <laughs> I just saw him get butt raped by a staff. Yeah, I'm just laughing. I'm just laughing. You used to it in the work community. Do I need to roll to see if I can walk to him laughing and help him up? Uh, <laughs> no, no. You, you can help him. You can help him gather his shattered pride. <laughs> by the way, I, I'm still and giggling, stand, and it's audible and, for you to hear. And stand them up. So, so anyway, anyway. So, the shaman give you a walks the butt, over to the wolf. Huh? Give you a pat on the butt, sacred game. She walks yeah. over to the wolf and she kind of smirks. She's like, ah, my friend, we meet again. And the wolf kind of turns his head and, and kind of lets out a little bit of a snarl. And she's just staring at the wolf. And so, you decide to betray your brothers, your... your Original, well, not original. Yours is why in this conversation. Your, uh, it rhymes with me. Your handlers, your original handlers, and you've taken up She's a party with these misfits. Uh, let's see. She's over there. She's kind of poking around. She's got the staff. She's poking the wolf with the staff, kind of like tapping on the stone to see, to see, uh, you know, how far it's progressed. She's just kind of walking around, circling the wolf, and just kind of nodding. And uh, she says, okay, I can fix this wolf. I can cure this wolf of its sickness. (laughs) Four? But it will cost you. A quarter of the share of everything in this cave. And... The gems from the rock monster itself. Mm. That's more than a quarter. I would definitely jump in and haggle that down. You would haggle. So that whole time that uh, Hayes was, I mean, uh, James was talking to that. I'm talking to the dwarf, saying, "This orc shaman that you that's been accompanying you is going to want a good portion of this gold." 
Now, we're going to need this Orc Shaman's help to fix my Great Wolf Companion. And I need to ask of you a favor, good sir. You're relaying this to James, and James is going to be relaying it to... To the shaman. No, I'm talking. I'm talking, talking. I'm talking to, uh, to his father. Are you talking to his father? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Who okay. Has <laughs> I got you. I got you. I yeah. Who I'm has everything? I'm going down for a second. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Father is just kind of sitting there. He's kind of stroking his beard as you're talking, and he's mm -hmm. he's just contemplating what you are saying. I will tell him that he, he, he seems honor-bound, he seems like a loyal person, and he seems to have a great deal and affection for family. <laughs> I consider this great wolf as my heritage and family. He's been with me. He's protected me. we fought alongside each other. He has my utmost respect. Now, I'm not going to ask for any gold whatsoever for helping your son, because I believe in loyalty. I just need your help and helping me get this great wolf fixed. I may be willing to part with these magnificent gems, but again, as all things have, or all, as all things do, they have a cost. I want half of everything that's in this room. She wants a quarter, he wants a half? Yep. I'm just going to kind of like tap him on the shoulder and be like, well, the gold is not to mine to give in the first place. I you have to talk to your son. I'm here. So, he turns to Bardor and says, What say you, son? Hmm. I don't think, I don't think the price is fair. What's hmm. how, how is it not fair? How much gold do we need? It's too much. We need something. We need something to further our causes. We're left with a quarter right now. Whose price is not fair? Mine or the orcs? Neither. The orcs. The orcs. He's probably planning on giving half to the family anyways. I'm still confused how the orc caravan drove up with the dwarven caravan. These guys are at the same time. I'm yeah, still confused how they didn't start time. fighting in the corridor outside. Well, because he wasn't being choked to death by those, <laughs> okay. by those orcs outside. He but. could. He what Hayes could say is he could say that he hated the hated that he had to work with them, but they know that they that a call was put out, and then as soon as that trap was put off, he heard orc and thought it was one of them. He thought he was about to get to <laughs> spill so some suspicious. blood. Well, he said, "I tried to be nice. I tried, no." <laughs> Starts flipping tables. Yep. Where did these tables come from? He's flipping them all. God, I jacked that all up by saying work. <laughs> so, so, the father, father goes to bar door and he says, "You know, I, I share your sentiment for these orcs." Uh, I feel as if the price is a little steep. How do you suggest we go about haggling with them? How would you suggest we, we go about talking down the price? Not through Mr. Buttrate. That's what my guy just said. Not <laughs> through Mr. Buttrate. We do so in, the, in the best way we know how, with our loud voices and our <laughs> and straight talk. <laughs> hey, I'm down, says Dale. <laughs> <laughs> no brandishing of weapons, just okay, okay, be straight with that. You got me. I promise. I won't pull any knives that aren't already out. And I'm holding like three knives. <laughs> knives. <laughs> well, it is up to you. We'll you must. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You me. must bargain with the orc. All right. Uh, Twinkles, we need your help. Can we just abstract? Let's see if I can. I have haggling, and I want to actually go and haggle her down. Okay. I want to pay her. I don't want to rip her off, you know, but I want it to just be manageable. Right. I want it to. So I want there to not be a problem down the road. A question for me, like future reference, since he's the one haggling and she speaks vile, is that gonna all? James is gonna have haggling? to be the. Uh, James is or the counter manager. Or is it from James that makes it happen? No, it would still be him because I'm just saying what he's saying. He'll basically just be the translator. Yeah. Like it'll it'll still be 
Shane's skills rolling, and I would say yeah. we possibly get an advantage die because he speaks work and he can embellish a little bit more. Okay, I was about to say, as far as with the translation from yeah. that, that was know. that was a question I was just like trust lost in translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, so. I want that. that I want two thousand. Well, I also I'm gonna I want to tell Bardo that we also need to find out what the humans want. We need to find out what the humans want. Yep. And I'm gonna look at you real quick and I'm be like, you look like a man of stature in the human race. But I can't leave oh. my side. I understand that. Your humans will probably listen to you. You carry yourself uh, way Bardor's better. Bardor's father hear, hears you saying that you can't leave the wolf side. And he says, I will make sure no harm comes to your companion. Okay. Trust him? Uh, I asked you. I, as my I trust Bardor's father. Okay. And I'll look at Zvi and see, question? and I'll give him a nod. Okay. So. Do you want me to sit here? I don't have any companions uh, here. Guard James. Okay, I'm in James's pocket. <laughs> Flip it out for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's happening now? You're gonna haggle with the work first. Or you're gonna talk to the humans. Um, I think we need to find out. I'll, I'll get Shane's advice, Bardo's advice, if we should at least try to figure out what the humans want first, so we have more haggle. Yeah, let's just ask them quickly. Yo, so, Sig. Yeah. <laughs> Really, it wouldn't, <laughs> you know, Sig, really, it wouldn't make any sense. Zig's back. been sitting on the rock monster whistling. Just chilling. Yeah, he was, like, sitting on the rock monster's arm, like, whistling. He didn't even, like, flinch when Bardor's father cracked the monster. I, I don't, I don't want to call him C. Does everyone know that the song he's whistling is the one that drives me crazy? <laughs> Obviously, because I've been acting crazy as shit this whole time. <laughs> I want to I wanna say... Uh, I want to look at Zig and do this and say, Sergeant B.A., come over here. <laughs> <laughs> so Zig kind of hops up and still got his hands in his pocket and just kind of leisurely strolls on over. All right, man. Be honest with me. I, I can tell you know those humans that came in. You deserve a fair share of the, of, of the gold. You're going to get... He said he didn't want anything. You're going to be getting the armor as promised to you. And Bardor, I guess he's with me. He can vouch for that. And I need to find out what your comrades are going to want out of this exchange. As far as my comrades, they serve my purposes. Okay, they I understand. Are, they are friends of mine that I have uh, acquired I feel like his throughout, throughout my various uh, contacts. And they are people who served the dwarves with me. Okay. okay. You impress me minute by minute. <laughs> uh, the humans will ultimately they will ultimately act uh, and uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Follow his accord. Basically, they will go with whoever pays the most. I want no gold. I just want the armor and the weapons. I myself have no care for gold. Do you think you can convince them to be the guards to help the dwarves carry back? And that then they can haggle with the dwarves to see how much they can get paid for guarding their caravans back? Zig asked the question. He says... Would you rather have them guard the caravan, or would you rather have them guard the cave itself? Mm, depends on if we're leaving. How I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna have to turn to Bardo and ask how long do you think it would take to get all this gold out of here, or wh what are we doing with it? I don't even, I don't know. A week's journey. Like, are we are we draining this place dry, yes. or we're gonna drain it dry and infuse the city with the wealth from the cave? We'll All right. Even right. right now, we're only worried about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's, here's the stakes, Titus. The, the humans will serve whoever pays the most. If we don't get a bigger share than that, than the orcs, than the other races, then the humans are going to go to that side. The huh. humans serve the dwarves, remember? Yeah, they... they the dwarves are getting through just, that just to just to take a step back from this, to to explain, they work for the dwarves. You know how Zig was like, you know, uh, the dwarves aren't going to go. Let's send Zig. He's, you know, he's the new guy. He worked for the dwarves. 
in servitude for the dwarves. And his servitude. partners are like in servitude also. So they are actually charges or employees kind of of the dwarves. That's just that's just clarifying. So Bardor, do you agree with We're not haggling over their loyalty to here? No, you're not haggling their loyalty. Okay. 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 Just okay. So do you believe we should just try to get hire them as mercenaries to guard the outside of the cave while we set everything up and then escort the caravans back for the dwarfs? Since they work for Absolutely. your father? And Absolutely. Him accordingly, I'm pretty sure your father can handle that. Absolutely. As a conversation, can you use mm -hmm. Yeah, what's we'll that? I'm just sitting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to start whistling the song that... Uh, I'm going to try to start <coughs> singing the song. No, I'm just kidding. Let's not do that. <laughs> <coughs> okay. I uh, appreciate the honesty. Okay. I guess as we're walking back to the Aldor's father, we can just say, the humans say they work for you and they're going to guard the cave until we're ready to move out. It will be done. Me and James are still standing over by the forks. We yes, still, still have this problem. I don't think, of course she shouldn't get 50% of this. What is she really no, doing? No, she said a quarter. She said a, a quarter, quarter yeah. and the gem. Oh, no, and the gem. says 50%. Yes, his father said 50, she said a quarter. Well, okay. Well, if she right. well I want... I want riches. I'm going to go haggle with her over the price. The gems, the gems, 20%. in my opinion, as the elf, and it, I guess you would either know this or I'm going to tell you, the gems need to go to you guys. You guys know what to do with them. These orcs are going to do something they shouldn't with them, obviously. Okay. Okay, so the stakes of haggling with the orc are going to be she can have a 25% share of the gold, but she doesn't get any gems. We get all the gems. Okay. Yep. And I'm gonna go set to haggling. I'm gonna bring my dad. Can I ask my dad if he can go talk to this orc with me? Okay. He's going for it. Okay. I just want a helping guy from him. My way. Okay. Spore. All right. So is James okay. over there? Is James yep. over there with the orcs as well? Yep. And I'm in there. Were the worth the names? I think Brad's actually okay. telling as well, and he's not alone by himself right now. I'm guessing you went back to your wolf after you got in. Yeah, she's going to be right there. His father's coming What'd you say? We can handle this rather quickly. I am going to spend a persona point to dump my greed, which advanced to five, and I'm going to dump all of it into keeping some of these riches. I can't fork in on that, right? Uh, nope. What? On his, uh, his riches are in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is what I want. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aha! Um, what? Oh, haggling you're... was a skill. Haggling? Do you have haggling? I don't have haggling, but I can hag I can add to his haggling. Uh, I, I, How though? I can give him falsehood so he can tell a white lie if need be. Mm. You'd have to check the. Yeah, I don't know about that. What would you say? All right. Well, then I will give him some scavenging details to let him know exactly I mean, what was. What were you going for? No, that would be a uh, appraisal. Well, I like, let me be honest. I like the falsehood figuring in. Oh yeah. Because if we fail, if we fail, Brent is in, or uh, Sam is implicated in the failure. Right. So he's actually putting himself on the line for any altercation that comes up. <laughs> and I think it's you know, he gets, he, you, say. you got to role play it though, like. Uh, like yeah, Brent, you gotta come in and say what the white lie is. It would be it would be determined on situation is my only thing in that. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like hey, I've dealt with many traveling merchants around these parts. This is actually what all of this is worth. You were making out with a great deal at a quarter. When all you no did gems. was walk here. Yeah, you're making out with a great deal. That's not even lying at that point, actually. That's haggling. That's but, yeah. That's not great. Right. That's using a little bit of. <coughs> that would be me. I would actually have to lie there. I mean, uh, yeah. I How can't do they that. describe falsehood in the book? It's lying. It's not. It, you're. I don't think. I'm, ready, I'm ready to roll. Yeah. 
Shane, I'm just going to back off. I think I can convince it. Yeah, I'm just going to back off. Right. What are you looking up, Brad? He's looking up Paul, son. But we need to go ahead and just roll. Let's just yeah, go ahead and roll this because Shane's going to have to go. Shane's going to have to go here in a second. I was just trying to help. Right. I got my three tackling dice. Yeah. I got a helper from. I got a helping die from my dad. <laughs> from my dad. From my dad. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna dump all my uh, greed into hanging onto this treasure. Like my cheeks are just wagging, <laughs> salivating. Sorry, I don't deal with all over all of the there. treasure. I have no real. I'm not gonna roll. I'm not gonna roll yet. Um. What's up? Hey, you gotta tell me uh, what kind of test is the opposite thing. Uh, it's just gonna be haggling. Let him play around and say something. He'll take it literally, so I can't even. All right. Haggling against Will. All right. So she's haggling unskilled. Yep. Be like, the doors are so poor. You can't take this much away from them. They need this. No, I'm just kidding. They said they're rich and they want more gold. What say you? Or you a falsehood because this chick does not know what she's talking about. You'll take the gold. Even if she fails haggling. Never mind, never mind. Let's go, right. Let's go ahead and roll it. Let's go ahead and roll it. <coughs> All right. Man, we gotta kill this rock guy in order this. to get this stuff. I got a four. That's All right, I beat, you. I beat you with a five. I beat you, you with a five. You beat me with a five? Okay. Yeah, and I have sixes. Uh, I can spin the fate, but... Uh, I mean, you beat her. You beat her. That's the thing. I don't think that would do anything. Yeah, I got what I wanted. We get to keep the gems. We'll pay you 25% in the gold, but we get to keep the gems. Okay. And you'll do the job. Now, she looks at you and says, you, you have sound logic, but what if I say the gems are instrumental in healing the wolf? Which gems? Brent could roll a falsehood to see if she's lying. I don't know. Yeah. So I want to know which gems. There's no way. Hmm. Is this true? Is this true, woman? It is. I'm going to roll falsehood. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, roll falsehood. <laughs> Two. Whoa, Brent. Wait, 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 wait. What is, what is Brent rolling? Who wants to roll falsehood? That would right, be a bluff check. That would be a bluff check. Yeah, that's perception. That's perception. Yeah, Perfect. you roll, you roll percent. Was it hers against mine or what? Or would I be rolling bluff unskilled? Well, if she's if she's lying. Well, she's not lying. Okay, well, then there's no roll. That's the she's check. not. She's not lying. Okay. I don't know how that works. I'm still trying. to... Yeah. I mean, I'm not. Figured. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure out. myself. So. I got you. Shane is the. <laughs> That's a hard situation to handle. Usually, I'll be like, "Yeah, go ahead and roll," and then. If you succeed, I'll be like, she's not lying. And if you fail, I'll be like, you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on my yeah. routine. Totally. Yeah, so. That's what I'm trying. That's I when we do our own um, She's not lying. All right. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I'll defer to the human. Are you willing to give up mm, the price of these gems? To me? I'm not. Okay. I, I don't know if I am. I don't need these gems. What we could ask of her is to drop her price then from 25% to 20%, and we can say that that 5% is going to the humans guarding her treasure and escorting her back and giving her safety. That's a wise proposition. What does she say? Does it include the gems? Blah, 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 blah. blah. The gems needed. We'll give her the gems, but we'll get to keep. You know, we're going to give her 20% cash and, and the gems, right? All right. Uh, so once you get all the... I just want to make sure he uses all the gems in order to heal. Of course not. We don't know. I, well, we don't know if she's using all the gems. We don't know if she's using all the gems or not. I want to talk to his father real fast and say, do you know of anything that orcs do with gems of these, of this nature? Or we're putting two powerful uh, gems in the hand. Pro tip. Pro tip. She doesn't know how many gems there are. Oh, she doesn't? 
No. That's oh, why, I thought, that's I thought I she was searching. No, she doesn't know. She just knows there are gems from the rock monster. Okay. That's why I'm, I'm just giving you, I'm just saying that because it's killing me. All right. <laughs> it's killing me to hold that in. Well, I thought like her, fa- his father or something was like, uh, I've already got all the gems. Like he did, he's got the gems. He, he okay. fried the gems out. And he has the gems. All right. Well, I want. So he pretty much has five, right? Let's not. Real quick. Let's not give. Can we just handle his? What'd you say? Can you can you just tell us you have this many gems? It's this much cash. It can be split. What do you like, mean? This much cash dice. It can be split. Like, okay. You've got a chest gem worth 2D. Can't be split. You've got a four gems. Each one is worth 1D of cash. You see what I'm saying? Right. Can I do a... Like, tell us... Like, we need to know. <coughs> can I do a sidebar with James? Yeah, you can do a sidebar. I need yeah. a sidebar with James. I need James to ask this orc uh, what color gems or what gems she needs, what gems she usually pulls from this rock monster. And... um. She will. I will go grab them for her right now. Well, she doesn't know how many gems you know. Just ask her that question. What gems she needs? Yes. What gems is she? What what gems does she think this rock monster had that's going to cure this wolf? Because mm. I'm confused right now. Okay, I ask her like. I'll go grab them. Like if we if, if they drop, I'll grab them. Do all the gems look the same, or we don't know? Are you, are you asking, asking her that, or are you asking me that? I'll, um, I guess I'll already described it. He, yeah, he pulled the gems eyes. out of the eyes and cracked the chest open and pulled the one out of the chest. I didn't know, the heart. I think she, I didn't I know think which she gem she thinks eyes. is the one that cures, or which gem she uses. I need, cause I didn't see any gems. I don't think she knows that much about the monster anyway. You don't know. Yeah, okay. exactly. He refuses to ask. I'm not rolling well against him. <laughs> That's the way he wants to play it. I'm not rolling well. All right. Well, I just I'm gonna just go. I, I those things that are leaders more gems than are actually than like one or two. That's why I said. That's why I didn't. I'm not just gonna. That's fine. Ask. I got you. That's why I didn't protest what you're saying. All right. Well, you could just you. ask her what gem do you need. Yes. Yeah. What gem? That's do what you I was need? getting at. Okay. What, what What does this gem look like? I, I'm gonna go try to find it. I, yeah. I, I can move fast. I can find shit. That's okay. my job. I can answer that. Uh, right. What gym she needs. Okay. Uh, she says... This is in, this is in Brad's beliefs, by the way. Huh? It's a yeah. kills why. I mean, we'll do it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm making this difficult. Yeah. Uh, She's got us. I mean, we need to these gems. That's it? She looks at James and she says, I have seen many of these rock monsters and they are instrumental in our curses of stone. I know there are many variations and they carry many gems, but there is one gem in particular that is more precious than all of the other ones combined. It is the gem with the life source of the creature. Okay, James, I heard her talk and my character is starting to bounce and I'm looking at you with wide eyes. What do I need to get? What do I need to get? What do I need to get? James, Twinkles, what do I need to get? Um, Twinkles. The heart. Is it the heart? Are you sure? Did she that, say heart? She said heart. She okay. says the most precious. I am going to take off crazy bad shit crazy. Crazy bad shit crazy. Like, I'm kicking up gold behind me while I'm running. Right. I'm going to run over to Brad. All right. the dad's why. We're all, we're all together because he's right next yeah, to Yeah, you guys are all like in a semicircle. Okay. Like, oh, I thought he left to go back to Zwei when his dad came No, there, Zwei is like right, right, right there. Okay. Well, he gonna, walked off to go talk to Zig, who's on the rock monster. Well, Brad, you just heard this. He doesn't okay. understand it. James has to. That's what I'm saying. James right. just translated to me. He's sitting right here. I'm going right. to look over at Brad and be like, hey, you just heard this. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else to do now. We need one piece from this monster. I'm going to look towards Bardo's father. Which one would you say is the most precious gem out of the ones that you picked? Uh, he would say, well, of course it would be it would be the largest and the one that uh, that has the <coughs> life source of the creature. It would be the one that I plucked from the chest cavity of the beast. And I'm just going to ask uh, the and, and why. One that she and why, why, what can this do? It, is, it holds it is a measurable power. If this gem, if this 
force is powerful enough to animate and sustain life itself from nothingness. You can only imagine what its power would be. Let's do this. She says that she needs that in order to cure the great wolf. I, I wanted to do the brain explosion. But she does. Father, give her the heart. You have. What say you, Bardor? Give her, give her the heart of the rock. We wait. So as he, hears, say to my father. he reaches into his satchel and opens it up and produces it's almost a football-sized <coughs> crystal. It's green. It's green with a blue pulse inside of it. And then he produces it and just holds it out for someone to take. Uh, I took it. Oh, oh. Right, you took it? You got I it? Took it. Speed test. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speed test. I want to grab it. I dropped it. <laughs> I took it. I take it and crush it into my own chest. Now I'm powerful. <laughs> <laughs> but as I'm, as I'm taking it, I, I'm going to look I at this dwarf in the do, face. Though. I'm going to say I'm a skittish man, and you know this. I'm, I'm a little crazy. I, I need some help oh with this. God. What are we going to do if she betrays us and uses this for her own benefit? From, from what the word says, she's not lying. Yeah. Right. If she betrays us, the only thing we can do is draw a blade. Do you have our our side? Yes. Even my orc. Yes. I, I wish I would know what happened if you swallow it. All right. So I'm going to take it. And actually, James, I'm going to walk over there with you hand in hand, pretty much. Me and you are buddies. I got your pocket again. I'm going to hand it to you. I'm going to tell her this is what she needs. Is this the stone Is this she... the stone that you... That's what I'm going to say. Is this the stone that you Her eyes get big, and she snatches it from James' hand. As soon as she sees okay. it, she snatches it. She, she holds it up to the light in the cave, and she's kind of turning it as the light's refracting, and you can just see the power kind of emanating from it. <laughs> and what she does is she takes it. She goes back over to the rock monster and sets it on the rock monster's leg, and she... She motions for Bardor to come over. Bardor. Can't follow. All right, I walk over. I'm pointing at you and doing this because you're the translator. Right, you walk over? Right. I walk over with me. Yeah, I walk over. All right, she walks over. You walk right, over, and she you. points at you. She points at your hip. She points at the hammer that's mounted on your hip. <coughs> All right, and I, I the take the hammer out. Queen motion at the heart, like you need to hit the heart. Oh, okay. Got it. I'm going to do it. That's well, long bag. I, before, okay. before you're about to swing, I'm going to say, can we just have our orc friend translate exactly what needs to be done? Just to be safe. Step I, get, step. I get the motion. I kind of understand you what's want, going down. You want him to break this heart. That is correct. Can you tell me what would happen when we do this? When he does and this? why does he need to use that hammer? <laughs> tell that hammer. Because you guys he just needs a hammer. Oh, okay. it's, not, it's not his hammer. Right. It's just a hammer. hammer. <laughs> I just, I just, just need, I'm gonna book. <laughs> oh, it needs. It doesn't need to be completely broken. Just kind of. It needs like, to be cracked open. Okay, tell me. It needs to be cracked open. Probably just to get whatever it is inside of it to seep out. All right. <laughs> I am obviously. I'm going to hold up one stubby little finger. Be like, hang on, just a second. I take out some beef jerky. I munch it a little bit. <laughs> Gotta give him a pass. All right, that's better. <laughs> Gotta give him a strength back. I've been, I've been to the city fairgrounds many a time in my day. My <laughs> young life, my young dwarf life. This is a very familiar obstacle to me. Oh, you're <laughs> exactly. And uh, it's a little carnival. And I'm just gonna grab my hammer skill and roll it, dude. All right, that's my obstacle. It's just gonna be a graduating test. That's all it's gonna be. All right. All right, I'm going to spend a persona point to put before, another die into this because I want good do, results. Before you swing your hammer, she takes a piece of dirt. like She dips her finger down in the dirt on the ground and marks a line on the heart. She marks like a little crosshatch on the heart. And you can tell that it's like an X. Like This is where you need to hit it. Okay. So you'll get a plus one. You'll I want to... One D for that. I want to claim... Exactly where you have to hit it. All right. I'll, Okay. Yeah, exactly. I want to claim an advantage on that. Okay, that's the mark. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. 
Okay. Uh, I'm going to... I rolled three successes. One of them is a six, and I'm going to uh, spend a fate point. Okay. And, uh, okay, three successes, man. Hit me. You got three successes. You three successes. hit the massive jewel. You hit it with some force, and it actually reverberates, and it makes a fine ringing sound. You know, and you, it stings your hand, like when you're playing baseball, and you don't hit the ball quite right, and it stings your hand. The neck of the it back. actually stings your yeah. hand. Drop your hammer, because you can't hold on to it. Nice. As your hammer comes back from the crystal and you drop it, you see a fine split on the jewel. And it's just a little split at first, and then it kind of grows and grows and grows, and then it actually cracks into two, and she catches the two pieces and holds them like cups. Mm -hmm. And inside, you see this blue liquid. Mm. All right, let, let her do her work. Everyone, make way. Let her do her work. Give her breathing room. So she is holding the two crystalline cups, basically, and she walks over to the great wolf. And she closes her eyes and, and kind of starts chanting and doing a little dance. She starts kind of hopping around like it's uh, almost like an Indian rain dance type deal. I am going to try to comfort Zai. As you go to Comfort's Y, she stops what she's doing. She points at you. Mm -hmm. She shakes her head. All right, well, from a distance, I'm like, this Vi, this is our only chance of fixing you. Trust me. Trust me, buddy. So what she does, as she's dancing, she's singing, and finally the song comes to a swell, and she just stops. She takes the two portions of the crystal and starts pouring the liquid back and forth. And you can see as she's pouring it, it starts to change color. Oh. No. The ritual was interrupted as a failure. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, kill huh? more. Everybody dies. Uh, I'm going to get the car uh, later, probably, man. Protect. Did I miss something? Because I'm one arm's length away from I'm not coming to get you at four. He cracked, he cracked the crystal up. And she yeah. just wanted that's, that's what I thought I was going to do. It's got liquid. Right. Right. She was right. doing the chant, getting all. She was like, she was some liquid back in the yeah. She came to an apex. She's oh, like. Yeah. She's doing the day. I, I envisioned the dance from Dark Souls with the staff. I was just like hopping back and forth. Like, oh, yeah. No, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. So. <laughs> as she stops. <laughs> And you see the liquid in the cups. It's turned red now. Blood red. <coughs> what she does is she takes them and she slowly pours it all over his wife, from his tail to the tip of his nose. And that was all of it that she used? All of it. I'm going to ask one question. I'm going to go way back in the story real quick. Did we get the blood from the golem? He's got it on a handkerchief. Okay, just make sure. Yeah, yeah, I've got the handkerchief. He's got a handkerchief. Wish I knew anything about rituals. And as she finishes, you see the stone on Zwei spread rapidly. And you see it cover his entire body like he's completely covered in stone, like he's a statue. And she waits a second. She just sits there and starts chanting again. And as she's chanting, you start to see hairline cracks in the statue surrounding Zwa. Uh, and you exhale. Uh, and everybody exhales visibly. Actually, my character wants to run up and start chipping it off. And so bad. As I'm the stone the breaks away, there's why. Completely healed. No stone anywhere, but his fur and skin almost seems as it's made out of living stone. Sweet. Whoa. Sweet. But he's fine. There's nothing... Sweet, says the Nothing other. wrong. Nothing wrong is why. He's acting just as he was before. So if I ask him how's he feeling, he doesn't feel heavier? Nope. 
I tell him to do this. <laughs> Shaking his body. Yeah, just shake. Yeah. You good? Good? Yeah. I'm going to look at you, and I'm going to say, trust me, Brad. All right? I'm going to walk up and try to cut one of his hairs. Can I test anything here? Yeah, test your knife skill. Test my skill. All right. I got three. That's all I need. All right. Three successes. What's six? I'm just going to leave it there. Three successes. You pull out your fine elven dagger, and you pull up one piece of hair, and you try and cut it real fast. Stops it. Stops it. Can't cut the hair. I look at Brad. A little smirk happens, and I giggle. That's it. I'm done. That's it. And that is the end of our session. I like it. Stone Wolf Crazy. Ah, wow. Stone Wolf Crazy. All right, so we're still in this cave. Yeah, at least we're in this cave. At least we got it all sorted out. Yep. Yeah. Thank well, God not gonna die. my crazy bitch didn't get us into retarded trouble, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Uh, that still... was a good save on uh on Shane's part. Bar, there. Bar, yeah. Yeah. That was a good save on Shane's part. I think he gets that award for keeping the storyline going. Oh, and it, man. That was tough. That was fucking ridiculous. Hey, I say if my trap was about to kill somebody, that I should get a routine on that. I should just start doing my you skills. Failed. I want to level my intimidate, so I'm going to intimidate don't his father. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> What's your intimidate? I, you I don't care. I want to break it. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. So, we're going to hand out these awards. Yeah, well, let me go ahead and I'm going to end this broadcast because it's only got like five minutes left, and I'll start up a new one real quick. Shane, you got time to finish up awards and stuff and just. Do a general wrap up. Uh, we gotta try to just zoom through stuff. It's okay. Okay. All right. Well, give me a second. I'll start it back up. Wait, we'll, we'll... All right. Cool, man. All right.